Legacy Unlocked. When you're locked out of your vehicle, can't get in your car, call Legacy. Serving West Palm Beach and surrounding cities. That's area code 229-630-7615. Available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Have you been denied disability, social security, or custodianship of your children? Call Antonio Williams. He has the knowledge and experience to fight the government on your behalf. Let him represent you. That's Antonio Williams, your non-legal attorney consultant. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Get in here, get in here. Call your friends, your family, your neighbors, your boyfriend, your boy toys. But get them all in here. We have a wonderful show for you tonight. I tell you, I tell you, we have a show. So it's going to be steamy. So put the kids in bed. Tell them, ah, go to bed. Mm -hmm. This is not for the children. Tonight it says, let's talk about sex. Grown folks conversation. So we're going to get Nas and T tonight. Yes, I am joined tonight by none other than my favorite sister, Miss Tayama Sweetness. Hello, beautiful people. I can see it. And Mr. And how you Tyson. Are you in the background? <laughs> What's going on, Tiama? Nothing. I'm trying to keep up with a two year old. <laughs> okay. I think I'm losing that battle, though. <laughs> Don't tell nobody. <laughs> okay. And guess what? We, we searched the world looking for the There he is. Hey, Tyson. And we searched the world looking for the most blunt, most voluptuous, juiciest cakes. And we thought Duncan Hines had them, Sarah Lee, but they didn't. They let us down. But we found them. We found juicy cakes. Blessings, everybody. Welcome, Juicy. How you doing? I'm well. How are you? I'm hanging out. I thought in. I was going to come on last, so I was still putting my stuff together. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, I got my big bro. Well, he, he, he's the little, but he's the big bro. Okay. <laughs> Ladies love him. Girls adore him. I tell you, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. None other than Legacy the Great. ATL in them holes. <laughs> oh, Lord. Y'all continue to pray for him. <laughs> There's still hope for him after all. So what's going on, good. everybody? Great. How are you? 
How I am. Doing this evening? Huh? How are we doing this evening? Oh, I'm ready. You ready? Well, we got some I special am guests. Red we have some special, special guests tonight. And um, without further ado, because I don't want to prolong anything, but I got none other than let, let me see where, where, where the where the clip at. Check check this one out. For all the people that helped me along the way, I want to thank you today. And to the low and above, I thank you for your love. I want to thank you today. To all my homies that's rolling with me, I need to let you know something. That I'ma believe in you as you believe in me. Like a parent as a child in his infancy. Matter of fact, when my pockets get fat, I pledge that I'ma give back. Because I'm the realest you ever done seen. And nobody doing it like my team. That's none other than my brother. Like none other, Mr. Chuck Dog. Man, you be showing me love, dude. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Welcome, bro. welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, right, I have to see y'all. I got another surprise for y'all. My my other brother, check this one out. <laughs> Than my bro, y'all see the size of those pythons? That's what I, those are South African pythons. <laughs> <laughs> That's done. Yo, that brother. gym looked like a club that he was in. Uh, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. What's up, Darren? What's up? How y'all doing? Great, great, That's great. Things. Hey, how y'all doing? And what up, Chuck? What up, Legacy? What, up, what it is. What's up, man? What's up, ladies? Yes. Hey, uh, Hello. Tony, let's get this, let's get this popping a little bit, man, because you know it's past my bedtime. <laughs> That's why we're trying to rush right into the rush Yeah, right man, in. I'm sorry. Yeah. Listen, and I don't have a video for this young lady, but she's no stranger to this show. She's been on the show once before, um, doing her tarot card reading, doing her, her, her thug fizzle, just, just knocking it out, and she's still dead on and accurate. None other than Miss Crystal. She's joining us tonight. So let's welcome back to the show, Miss Crystal. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Plus. Hello. Good to be here. Yes, yes. We almost got a, almost got a full screen tonight. <laughs> Haven't had one of these in a long time. <laughs> well, listen, this is how it goes. I have a few questions here that I haven't asked anyone. So the questions are going to be your mystery to everyone. And like I said, the show is entitled tonight, Let's Talk About Sex, Grown Folks Conversation. So basically, there's no right or wrong answer. Whatever each individual says is off the dome, off the top of your head. You just want to see how people think. Um, God. Um, <laughs> there's no holes barred. We, 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 we grown. I said, in the beginning of the show, I said, put the children to sleep. <laughs> and the ass is the bed. But we got some questions here. And um, mm -hmm. we're going to have the guest answer first. Is y'all ready? So. Question. Statement, issue, situation number one. A woman and man married 20 years. Perfect relationship. Everything's going great based on what society deems to be great. Both are wealthy, both are successful. Sex is good. Family's good. Have kids. Kids are teenagers and grown. Um, 
nice cars, nice home, finances is perfect, an abundance. Wife goes to do spring cleaning and she finds a dildo in her husband's drawer. Two part question. Is he gay? That's the first question. And the second part of the question is, what should she do at this point? Why you got to start with a gay ass question? <laughs> I don't want Legacy to answer this question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the guest this time. <laughs> well, how do we know it's his? Like, what about right. if he bought it for the wife? Right. Do you tell right. him yet? Well, she did. I'm sorry. She did verify that it was his. They had a discussion. It is his. It, but is it his or he bought it for her? No, so it's his or he's with himself. Oh, oh. Okay. You know my answer. But the world don't know your answer. I think well, the world I would, does. I would ask, well, why does he feel the need that uh, that he needs a dildo. Like, is this what you want to tell me? Yeah, that's a question for the ladies to answer. You know, do I not pleasure you? I mean, like, what's... Hold on, hold on. Could you just read his cards and figure it out for yourself? Hold on. <laughs> you know the answer. Hold on. Back up. How could you... Hold on. What could you do to pleasure him with him sticking a dildo up his ass? Well, they no. say that's where y'all G spot is at. No, so they don't say nothing that. about nothing about us. No, they don't either. No, they actually do. <laughs> they yeah, said it about you. All, all of y'all, no, all of y'all have Google. They say a male's G spot is in their anal. Yeah. Okay. Don't, don't kill the messenger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and if well, we're not. We're, the, hold on. Hold on, it's hold on, KK. Through the aim. Hold on, KK. We're, we're not as the guest on the show. We we just want you to give your opinion. We're not debating over it. We want to we want to hear each right individual right. opinion. Okay. okay. So the boss hold on. Way, I do not hold think on. you're gay. Hold, hold on, Tay. 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 Who is that talking? We said, we said, we said guest first. So since we since we're gentlemen on this podcast and, and ladies are gonna go first, we're gonna start oh, with the gentleman told he said he wanna hear it from a lady. That's why I'm going to the um, but that's not how this goes. Each individual has to answer the question. So we're gonna start with you, Miss Psychic. Okay. So <laughs> I mean, I would just ask. Well, what do you have this for? Can you explain to me what's going on here? You know? Oh, what? What? I'm serious because maybe he is. <laughs> maybe he is freaky. I'm freaky. Wow. Now. Let but me you know him for 20 years. Personally, oh. I think he should have hit it in his garage. Yeah. Oh, I think he should have had it. Be honest with you. Tay was Tay was tardy to the party. I'm gonna repeat it just. Hey Welcome to the show, Tay. I'm gonna repeat it just for Tay. The, the question was: a picture perfect relationship, husband and wife, married for 20 years, have kids, teenagers and adults, have home, finances is great, sex is great, mom wealthy, nice cars, picture perfect relationship, nothing's wrong. After 20 years, wife goes to do spring cleaning and she finds a dildo in her husband's drawer. Two part, and, and after that, she had a discussion with him to, and determined that it is his dildo that he uses and pleasures himself. So the question was, two part question was, one, is he gay? And two, what and she hold on, can I ask something to Tony real quick? What should she do at this point? Is he supposed to be a straight male? I just, well, I just told you the whole story. Is he supposed to be a straight male? He, he's a, a married man. So, a married so yeah, he's supposed to be straight. So he's a bitch. <laughs> what, what, what's your, what's your, what's your, um, okay, go, continue, Crystal. You were answering. I know. I would just ask him, well, why does he feel the need to have a dildo? Is there something he want to tell me? I mean, does he swing Thank to you. the other side? 
you know? Evidently. Because just because someone has the perfect, perfect relationship, that doesn't mean someone's not in the closet and haven't came out yet. You know? Or because it's you know, he is, oh well, no, you already said he's pleasuring himself. So he didn't buy it for another female to pleasure her while she's not home. But. A woman with a cheetah's mask. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would just want to know, like, why? That doesn't seem like typical. Okay, right. Tell you, tell you what's your response. I don't well I can say <laughs> <laughs> as for me art I I would I I would know what to say. I think I'll leave. Who's that to you? Who's that talking to you? Tay, Tay at the bottom. Okay. I think I I figure out what is it, why why do we have it? Is the question. Um, Would that honestly be your response? Would y'all be more frantic? More concerned, I think? I probably would cuss him out. Okay, Dan, what's you. Dan, what's your I mean, if you want to be honest, I probably would cuss him out because I would feel very cheated because the first thing I probably would think is that he is gay and he's no I told you, Tony, what I think. I told you. Or never was really in love. And I'll be hurt for after all those years to be... Right. Um, it's like it's deception. Chuck. <clears throat> well, I mean, honestly, man, you know, every everybody has like their own thing, but I think that the lack of transparency. Chuck, we don't want the political right answer, brother. Come on, man. I didn't even get to answer, Darren. You gotta shut up. <laughs> Come on, brother. <laughs> All right, <laughs> man. He asked me. He asked me a question. So you know, this is this is the thing. This is the thing. Without. I'm not giving the the politically correct answer or whatever. It's just that I number one would never do that. I would never do that myself. But everybody <laughs> else has their own cup of tea. Everybody everybody does what they do, right? I mean, you know, everybody's individual. They have their own right to choose to what they want to do. But when I think they're in a committed relationship like that, the the best the best thing is transparency. Why do you why do you feel like you can't talk to your wife about? your sexual fantasies, or maybe he talked to her, talked to her about it before and she wasn't respecting them or taking it, taking it seriously. And then he feels like he got to please himself. Maybe she's not doing her job in the bed. Oh, uh, I, I think. You know, to me, that's that... like see... Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, cast members. Go ahead. Go ahead, Kate. He's free to booty. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> <Mwah. laughs> hey Chuck. Hey, All right, Chuck. so Darren, I guess you're right. You, I was giving the politically correct answer, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you can you can you can you can CNN answer. I'm gonna get a Fox News answer. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey Darren, you're right. You're right. Because right. <laughs> you know, because he's not saying it. it, it you know, there's a there's a difference between somebody who just like told you the game now. There's a difference between a gay male and somebody who's a, supposed to be a straight male and hiding it and then doing something like that. Yeah, that's I, lose, I have a lot of time respect right? for somebody like that. Right. Yeah. Excuse me? Hold on, hold on, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. no, I mean, <clears throat> go, well, go ahead, Kate. I was going to say, it's not much more to say. I've been singing Beyonce song to the left, to the left. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go. <laughs> The box are the deal they'll be packed on top. <laughs> wow. If the dude was gay, if, if right. dude was gay, you expect that out of a gay man. You're okay. Yeah. That's, that's a gay dude. So you expect but that my husband after 20 years. Right. Mm -mm. right. Yeah, he, he's obviously gay and he hasn't made a choice yet. Right. He hasn't made a made a, a, a transparent choice as to what you know, because people get confused all the time. I, I you know, I got friends that are that are gay, not just Tony, but you know what I'm saying, a bunch of different friends, but uh, for a while, especially when they're trying to figure out whether they want to come out. I mean, he's been married for a long time. You know, it's it's a it's a it's hard to disclose that kind of information when you don't when you haven't chosen the side. But most of the time, they got to choose the side. 
<laughs> and see that part when you say that, Chuck, that that's what I was about to say. He's choosing a side because he yep. got the deal though, and he's using it. Yeah, that's a coward. That that's what you say as a. Mm, that's what, what 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 word did you say there? Yeah, a bitch. that's what he is. Right, you're right. Yeah. He is, he has chosen a <laughs> side, but what I'm saying is that he has he doesn't he doesn't feel comfortable coming out and disclosing that that kind of thing or whatever because that's you know, true. Then he's looked at as a as a gay dude you know when people are i know that i have a good friend of mine that i went to uh, when i was going to college he was working in television with me and i was actually interning with him and we became really good friends <clears throat> city councilman in, in in detroit city and for the longest time he was really really confused about what he wanted to do whether he wanted to be married you know with, with a woman or whether he wanted to go and be with and be with a man you know, they they struggle inside. It's like an internal struggle that they go through trying to figure out how to actually, you know, uh, come to, to terms with the way that they're actually feeling. You know, they really don't know. They really don't know all the time. Is that right, Tony? Or is that is that you're right? Okay. And you know, Tony been gay since she was three months old. And possibilities. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that oh, very no. well could, could be a person who had been abused when he was younger. Mm. And he was abused by someone who he loved and loved him, like even a parent or someone he trusted to where they don't know that they're being abused. So it's something that they're enjoying. And then once it's realized it's abuse and they have to let it go, this is still a feeling that they already have grown accustomed to. And I, I've seen that in children. And to where when they grow up, they're fighting to figure out they know they like women and they didn't like being abused, but mm -hmm. that feeling they still enjoy. And well, that's because they, that's because you, yeah, that's because they were sexualized at a young age, so that's confusing as right. a kid. But what if in this situation this guy wasn't sexualized at a young age and he said, you know what, this girl was nice and tight up my asshole. Excuse my language. Well, um, I know this is you too. If it's but, my um, husband after 20 years, and and, and I, I would know, I feel like I should know if he was sexualized. Now, you should, well, well, you should know yeah. about that, but I'm saying, what and if he I should know about the damn bill, though. But what if he wasn't sexualized and he was just like, okay, because, you know, we, we say, and Tony said, you know, after 20 years, she found this, but obviously, dude's probably just a bisexual. That's probably what he is. Let's, let's say that. He could be a bisexual, which means he's a gay guy that likes women. Okay, um, Tony, that's my definition of a bisexual. Um, is, that's a gay is guy using the deal is using the dildo different than gay? a finger in your ass? I don't know because I ain't doing either one. <laughs> um, but but uh, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, we ain't doing that. Um, oh. yeah, be careful when you got toilet paper wiping your ass. Um, <laughs> but, but, um, no, that's a, that's a good question. But I think, um, on a serious note, I think it's just he was probably gay. And I think, you know, with something, something, man, me and a young lady had a conversation like years ago about gay men. Um, because she had a friend who was gay. I was telling her he was gay, but she didn't believe he was gay. And but the thing about gay men is, she had a good point is, men who are gay, even if they've been straight all their life. Gay men sooner or later come out the closet. They have to figure it they out. They typically don't lie their entire lives. Mm -hmm. They come out the closet, right? They come out sooner or later. They like this. I'm, I'm I'm old enough now. This is what we're going to do. I don't care what anybody thinks. Because it's sex. Because number one, se the sexual urge is strong anyway. Whether you're straight or gay, sex. Is that's strong. what I. That's exactly what I was saying. They have to come to terms with the with with the way that their that their life is ending up. You know what I'm saying? Like the right. way they want. You know. Right. Right. So um, I can't answer the other question, young lady, about the thing in the deal. Do I don't know comparison. Uh, um, tell um, me how you see the thing in legacy. You know me. I don't, I don't really agree with everybody else's perspective because if you like, I know of people, and I actually know of couples that are married, and the wife actually does penetrate the husband. <laughs> Vice versa. I also know swingers that anything goes when they're having sex and they don't have sex with the opposite sex. And they are straight men. It's just that. No, they're not. Like, like no, they're, they're not. Let's no. say 
listen, let's say if you a person and you like some guys, they always like most guys that you see that walk around be the dominant man. When it mm -hmm. comes to being in the bedroom, they want to be submissive. So they're into that S and M type of deal. And if they get an older woman and she teach him something that he was like, I never got that fucking orgasm before. Guess what? He's addicted like Pookie. That don't mean he want a dude. He just had a female that was so experienced. She blew his mind to the next level. And not that he was a little boy. He's a grown man. Right. Working in the establishment. And he like, listen, I want to surrender all control. See, now I'm telling now, you. Uh, no. No, I'm so listen. I'm dead. No, I agree. I agree that probably so no. I agree that probably people out there like that. I agree ass with you. men out here that will literally walk in, walk in five thousand dollars to make me your your kid, put me on a diaper and all. Like they want to surrender that much control. They don't want to do. They could pay for whatever they want, and nothing would ever be told. But they want a woman to do it. They want a woman to, so I don't agree with that. Y'all, so you don't think that's you don't think that's right? to go to that side. My freaky ass, I'm open minded to go to them sides. So no, I need, I, I need, that. I need to know, I need the definition of straight man. Like, okay. what's a straight? What's a straight man? A straight woman? What's like straight? A, oh, a straight oh, 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 man. This is my idea of a straight man. A man that has no type no. of sexual inkling that he's attracted to any other, like another male. If uh -huh. you get a if, at any time, if you're a man and you get aroused by another man, you got gay tendencies. I don't give a fuck. Okay, so a dildo gay. is a part so of... So that's like my idea that's a of tendency. a person that is gay. I, I agree with you, Darren. Like I said, what, what's, I your, agree. what's your take on it? Ah. Uh. He <laughs> said, ah. Uh. <laughs> um... You we have to time. understand. We, we have to first understand. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> this man in my we have to first. Now. We have to first understand yeah. the definition of uh, homosexuality. Right. And the definition of homosexuality, uh, explicitly when it comes to a male, is for him to be penetrated by a actual man. No. Hold on, no. hold on. I gave, I gave y'all. Yeah, right, give okay. me. This is everybody's opinion. Mm -hmm. If you, if you look up the definition of homosexuality and gay, not based off of somebody's opinion, it is to have a actual sexual encounter mm -mm. with mm -mm. a with a human being mm -mm. of the same sex. I'm gonna rebut that too. You can't well, in a minute. Ahead. So I can't answer per se for the, what the woman would do because I can't see a man walking into a home and see his woman playing with a dildo and he's so destroyed to the point to where he's ready to leave and break up his home. More men are going to at least try to join into the action. Since you got it there, Go on and hold it there and hold this in, in your mouth. But if if the woman sees her man or sees the dildo and knows correctly that it's his, he admit that he uses it. He if there is a possibility that he could be having tendencies. But ha a man having a deal though, because I'm not, I'm not, I don't even want my woman to have a deal though. So I, a man having a deal though and a woman having to see that, the actual act of him actually playing with the deal though himself, using it himself, doesn't make him gay until the act of being with a human. He's just having tendencies. And he don't know, like you said, Chuck, he's curious. 
but by him using a toy has not made him gay because he has okay. not had sex with a human. Having sex with a human, the same sex is what makes it a gay act. Not having sex with a toy. Now we, okay. as straight heterosexual men, are going to look at it as being gay. But if you're going to be correct about it, him having the deal, though, playing with it, wouldn't and may not be looked upon as a gay act because if a woman uses one, we're not saying if she's over there scrubbing a, a, a rubber coochie up against her coochie that she's gay. We're not saying she's a lesbian. We're saying she's playing with toys. So if this man has a deal, though, which wait, is wait, considered wait. to we be... Hold on, her? which is... That's not what which she is. is she's playing Thank with you. the toy exactly. because she's not... She has not went through the act of being with a woman. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Can I say something? When you gonna be done? What about just being sexually curious, though? I mean, what, is that what you're trying to say? Legacy is that? Yes, that they, they would be more maybe, sexually. Like they would be more sexually curious, but that wouldn't make them gay because the actual act has to happen with a human being. Mm -hmm. Okay, can I say something? And I think it's done. Can I say something now? Okay, I'm gonna totally disagree with that because. The act of homosexuality is just not the act of being with another person of the same sex. It's also having that thought. So if you are male and you think you're sitting around, you think about sucking dick, you're gay. It's also the thought, actually, also. It's not just thinking, it's not just saying, well, I gotta have another man. If you're putting something up your ass that, that, that resembles a penis, you're gay. And, and because that's action also homosexuality. Comes from thought. And, from and thought, in order exactly. For you to in order for you to want, like, that's why I asked, was there a difference between? Because there's options that you could use to still get that same feeling because that area is accessible through the anus, but it can also be reached in between your scrotum and your anus. So you don't have to penetrate to have the, the orgasm that you're looking for. Thank you. You, you can still yeah, I want achieve. I want an orgasm like that anyway. Yeah, that I orgasm elsewhere. However, yeah, if you want to penetrate and then you choose a male object or some or a replica right. of that right there, I, I think we giving people too much it's okay. And it is okay because it's free will and freedom of choice. Right. But but we're 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 like whitewashing the definition. That's like men who go to prison. I just looked up the def the definition. I'll share it with you. The one that I found. You want to hear it? Um, well, I looked it up too, and it does say people, and then the definition of people is human being. Right. However, this, this in order to be the human, or characteristic of being sexually attracted solely to people of one's own sex. Yep. Right. Yep. Exactly. That's like that's like guys who go to prison. Where it's just other men, like, I'm not straight. I'm not gay. I'm just doing this because I'm in here. You're gay. Yeah, that that's will something make you turn basic. off and no on. No matter how you try to tuck that up, that will make you gay. Right. That yeah, is what legacy. You what legacy on, saying right? is is a little different. What he what I what I hear him saying is that that you have a homosexual act or that you have an act with a person of this like a human being of the, of the same sex. Right. But this, but this is saying. Is a little Say, bit different. It's saying that you're sexually attracted to them. Like Correct. You're yes. Attracted. Right. It's not you know. Right. It's not just the, the actual act. It's also right. The it's, it's, it's the attraction. Right. Yeah. What happened? All right. With the fan. Yeah. There. Right. Yeah. Hold on, Tiama. Can you send the link to um Legacy's two two nine phone because he lost um signal on the other phone. Yeah. Thank you. Let's let's move on because I got four more questions and I, and y'all y'all going on and going deep with it. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> he was going deep. Darren, you hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the situation here. Um, hold on, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for Legacy to come back because I wanted to miss it. So in the meantime, I'm gonna play this quick video. They weren't loyal to you. They were loyal to the opportunity. And a person who does not understand the value of loyalty will never understand the damage of betrayal. This is how we get hurt. We confuse loyalty with attachments. 
There is a massive difference with somebody who is assigned to you versus someone who is attached to you. Somebody who is assigned to you helps you complete tasks. But those who are attached to you only want to benefit from the tasks that you have completed. They don't view you as a person. They view you as a purse. People don't abandon what they want. They abandon what they were using. But, but I'm loyal. I, I'm a rider. Everybody is willing to ride while you're in the yacht. But who is going to row with you in a crisis? Loyalty does not require lights or eyes because it is a heart posture. It should not require my presence for you to be loyal. Loyalty is when you have my back behind my back. That's true. When you have my back behind my back. That's dope. That's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you see him the link? Yes, I see him the link. There he is. Yeah. Welcome back. Next, 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 next situation. Again, fifty perfect relationship. Couple been together 15, 20 years. All of a sudden, the girl asks for an open relationship. He agrees. After months, of, after months of an open relationship, he no longer wants this and wants to call it off. He no longer wants the open relationship or the initial he relationship. No longer wants the open, he no longer wants the open relationship and no longer wants to share. So how do you back out of the deal? Go we'll start with we're gonna start with Darren. Oh, here we go. Uh oh, what happened to ladies first? Because we already done there you that. Go, ladies. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> go ahead, ladies. Juicy, you still know how to shift the dang on, shift the um, the actual. See, he was in a hot seat, and you don't try to move. Miss Tay, Miss Tay, how can I help you, sir? Team <laughs> <laughs> Tay, all the way. Say the say the question again. Because you okay. got me with this open relationship thing. I, I picture, don't show. Picture perfect relationship for 14, 15 years, 20 years, everything going beautiful. All of a sudden, the lady asks the man, Can we have an open relationship and see other people? So I won't be able to answer this question because I don't show. <laughs> so that's your answer then. I don't show. That's your answer. Crystal? Now, you said the guy wants to back out. And, 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 and right, he, he don't want to do the open relationship thing no more. He just want to get back one-on-one. -on -one. And you asking how should he go about it? Yes. The same way his woman approached the subject to him is the same way he bring it back up to her. She, she wanted to have the open relationship. He going to bring it up and say, I don't want it no more. Then they're going to discuss why. You know, why was the open relationship even needed or wanted in the first place? And why is all of a sudden he backing out? He not happy. He not getting what he want. Girl getting too much. He ain't getting nothing. He's seen his woman getting twisted up. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, to me, the simple answer is, is not that hard to bring it back up. She brought it up. You bring it up. But That's the question true. I just want to know is why? Why, why this even... Got brought up. Why even agree to it? Yeah, why? Yeah. And then now he back out. Know. He wanted out the deal, or maybe he jealous. Oh yeah. What's that, Chuck? I didn't say anything. <laughs> I want you to. <laughs> Man, I feel the same way that Crystal feels. I'm like, well, number one, why was that even a thing in the first place? Right. Because to me, at the at the very first point that she says that she wants to have an open relationship or whatever, it's like that to me is like a friendship with benefits type of type yep. of setup. And I feel like 
I don't need another friend. I mean, I could smash a whole bunch of other chicks at, at any other time. Why do I need this? Why do I need to be in a, in a friendship with you, my wife or whatever, or have a friendship with you in the sense that we're, you know, going out and dealing with other people like that? Like, this, it doesn't even make sense to me. So I probably would have said, I probably would have said no in the first place. Here's something that I probably didn't think of. My 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 logic was the, the the moment that she asked, "Can we have an open relationship?" To me, your relationship was already over at that point because that's kind of right. right. At that point, she was no longer right. satisfied with your dick. Right. Well, she should have been better honest enough to say that. <laughs> In so many words, she did after 20 years. Yeah, she did. But that, like... In so many words, she did without hurting his feelings. Right, she did, but at the same time, it was it's even deeper than that because is that that's what their relationship is based off of, just sex. No, it wasn't just based off of sex, but maybe she maybe she's staying in the relationship because of security. That's that's not a problem. I I can understand a woman doing that, but like I said, you can't put sex at the top of the list of everything. Is what I'm saying. So is she gonna for her to bring that up because she wasn't being satisfied sexually? It's not all about that all the time, or most of the time. Now, when you get down to brass tacks, and sex don't, sex does not last all day. It's a very short period of time throughout your life, actually. So you got to be a bigger person. Tell that, tell, that, tell that the legacy. Well, I ain't saying shit the legacy. Why you just going to throw my brother under the bus like that, though? <laughs> we in front of company. Okay. No, Tony you know, I never really thought about it. I, I I was thinking about sex off the top of my head when she asked for the open relationship, but maybe emotionally she's not there anymore and could be there for stability and want to talk to other people to have that emotional bond mm -hmm. with someone else, that excitement again. Well, Ms. Chris, let me, Ms. Chris, that's just using somebody though, really. I that is. The day, that's it's like you're, you're, you're using that's them because... That's a woman's way out. That's a woman logic right there. Can, right. Can, can y'all hear yep. me? Yes. Yeah, brother. Okay, let me say this. One, we're moving the goalposts. We're moving the goalposts. Miss Crystal, I see you moving, trying to move the goalposts. The first thing Tony said is their relationship was financially stable. Oh, I Every, forgot about that. Everything was good. See, people, Perfect. Love, to want, right. people love to move the goalposts. Not just you, Miss Crystal. Tomorrow, we all do to, to, to fit something. And we're saying that their relationship supposedly is supposed to be good. It was Everything perfect, was right? Grand and great, but I, uh, can y'all hear me? Because I just think <coughs> in and out. Yeah, well, yeah brother, we got you. The thing now we don't hear you. Now we don't hear you. You're, you're doing a mannequin. Good job, legacy. Good job, brother. <laughs> so, Darren, you go ahead. Yeah, you're, back. you're back. Go ahead, Legacy. Go ahead. We can't, can't hear him. Yeah, can't hear him. Can't hear you. Okay. Anybody else? Want to everybody answer? just, just everybody just look at him and smile and nod. <laughs> <laughs> like we, <laughs> like we know what's going on. <laughs> Chuck, anybody else want to answer? Juicy. Not really. Tama. I say what he said. Let me tell Not you, really. it, could be, it could be more than sex. So, because sometimes you could be in a relationship for a long time to where y'all basically get really comfortable with each other to where one of the people could feel like they're not even being seen no more. To where but like you said, the question was also like, that everything was perfect. But let me tell you, no, because, <clears throat> okay, you know what a lot of people, let's be clear. Nowadays, let me tell you what people call a perfect relationship. Because you're not financially struggling, um, he not cheating, she not cheating. Oh, they got the best relationship. But yet they cannot have no communication. It could just be like they coexisting in the household. <laughs> And the average and if they have a good relationship, then you would assume like, that they were they communicating. Got it all. Right, right. No, Everything is I'm perfect. Telling you, in today's society, what they look at as a good relationship, you don't know what. And then 
sometimes in relationships, people will walk on eggshells just to keep the other person comfortable. No, nah, I agree no, with that. But in this, in this scenario, sleep. everybody and their mom called me when they got a problem. And I know a lot of people that literally they would surrender their happiness for the other person to be happy. And you have some women that will literally be with a fraction of a dude because that is what they was taught their whole life. He go to work, do a nine to five. Girl, a piece of man is better than no man. So the idea, y'all know, anybody that was with that song, uh, what's that lady, Betty, what's her name? Betty Wright. Yeah, uh-huh. Y'all know that song? Yeah, that foolishness. So yeah, but it, no, but... it could be just something she looking for. You never no. know. 20 years, you lose yourself. No, you don't. I think no, that um I think in Tony, I think in Tony's, I think in Tony's scenario, they did have communication. Everything was fine. They were talking, the everything was person. great. Since I was a jit. And I'm telling you, you can lose yourself. Being, I am 40 years old. I have a 25-year-old and a 2-year-old. You can but give so yourself. Based, but based on the example, the scenario, everything was perfect. Correct. Listen, there's never a perfect. And this scenario is perfect. And the scenario is perfect. You got to follow the scenario. I'm following the scenario, but that is not even logical to be perfect. It's... Let me tell you, a perfect person, a perfect relationship would never have someone wanting to step out. Because when you deal with perfect, let's, 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 like, you have to deal with any question that is thrown at you being logical. Nobody don't walk out on perfect unless from the beginning you was in it for all the wrong reasons. I got with this person because I knew I would be well off. So you weren't in it for the love. And after so long, even in that perfect, guess what? Like y'all say, so long you can't stay in that closet. That perfect gonna eat you the fuck up because it ain't that perfect. It's still built on a lie. <clears throat> Any other comment? Nope. Nope. I don't agree. <laughs> next, next, next scenario or next statement. How do you get over a broken heart? Get another man. Get more money. I'm just playing. That was a joke. Um, honestly, to to get over a broken heart. You really have to do the inner work yourself. You have to get over that heartache and pain. You need to take that time to work on you because if you don't and jump into another relationship, <coughs> you'll end up probably hurting that person's heart. So, Excuse honestly, me a moment. I'm going to read this comment. D. Chapman said, a perfect relationship has no room for growth, in my opinion. Go ahead. I guess that's true. Yes, that's true. No, yeah, but go ahead. Finish, finish Kristen. Um, no, I was just saying to get over a heartbreak is really working on yourself, realize what went wrong in a relationship and you learn from it. Everything is, is a learn. It's a learning curve. Learn what you will tolerate, what you will not tolerate and learn your part, your mistake in it, that person's mistake. And just, you have to learn it. You have to heal and not make that mistake again, but don't just jump into something else right quick. You got to work on yourself and work on what happened. So you don't make that same mistake again. Um, in the next relationship. I actually, um, there's a guy named Jim Rome, Jim Rohn that I listen to. And he says that you attract success by which you become right. So like the better of a that's person true. that you become, you actually attract another, another person or yeah, other people in your true. life that are, that are better agree with that. for you and more suited for you or whatever. So I, I, I agree with crystal in the sense that she, you need to take the time to work on yourself and self-improve and like reflect, you know, be more reflective as opposed to, you know, looking out, looking out the window to me is a lot, is a, a lot easier than looking in the mirror and saying, you know, looking at, taking a look at yourself and seeing what's, what's actually, you know, 
wrong, going wrong with you and your decision making and the things that the, the things that the person is actually doing and not projecting onto somebody else and saying, well, you know, that person did this and that person did that. It's like everything that happens to you in your life is all about you. Really? Absolutely. Absolutely. I am Chuck Jr. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and when you heal yourself, you raise your energy level, your vibration. Once you raise your vibration, you attract light attracts light. So you will attract better relationships once you do your inner healing and inner work as well and get over the heartbreak and work on you. Mr. Mello said, what's up? What up, Tay? And the rest of the cast. Hey, Mello. Hey, Pam Mello. Hey, Mello. Hey, Mello. You know, I, I was brought up um, seeing the silver line and everything. Everything, there's a blessing or a lesson. And it's, it's in your perception how you see what the outcome is, it's going to be. It. And so... For looking at things like you're saying, a heartbreak is is how you accept it to be. So it doesn't have to break your heart. It could feel bad. It could hurt because it's the end of a relationship. But like you say, self evaluation and holding yourself accountable, accountability, except especially being self accountability. That's how you grow. And that's how you see a different, be a different person. And it's like that when they say in, start, in order to do better, you got no better, you got to do better. That's the doing better. And you do heal from it, <clears throat> but you also heal others around. You. That's why the light starts attracting more because in the things you're doing, you're mindful of how you were. So you start treating people different as well. And then those people start realizing the difference in how they are. So they start holding themselves accountable too. And it's like a, a reciprocating factor. It just expands, it keeps expanding. The energy just keeps growing. And believe it or not, that's how I got into tarot. Um, after I had a heartbreak a few years ago, um, I started to look for answers and it started to see, okay, what was my part in it? What's going on? What's, what's the lesson I'm here to learn? And that's exactly kind of like what led me to tarot. And so now I help other people heal as well. And doing that helps me to heal and keeps me ascending and keeps me in a um, light energy. Okay. Any other, any other comments? Look, I went and got my headphones and was like, I had to hear this and then no one else can hear I didn't, it. Because I, I thought you were talking about I didn't sex. Hear the I didn't hear the questions. These so. comment, questions are pretty cool. <laughs> was, um, how do you, how do you um, get over a broken heart? Oh, man. That was a deep one. Um, bro, let Mr. Them... Mello said, bro, let, let me hear it because I'm kind of certain what I'm going to hear, but I kind of need it. <laughs> uh, I, I, I really don't personally, I don't really think it, 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 it ever is a point in time where you know, if you talking about, I do believe that self um, accountability is one because you get to review the things that you could have either done that caused that for that to, be, to happen in your life. Or it also is a point to where when you have to know that, you know, um, that sometimes this comes with being human you're gonna make mistakes it's gonna be errors it's gonna be things like that that come along with that trying to be in a relationship so i mean i think that you know those are just all um lessons that you, you it could either enhance your life to make you a better person to where if you have an opportunity you know what i'm saying to be with that person again because of your shortcomings that you brought to the table then you would know what to do to make that relationship better. Or you, it will make you learn that, okay, I don't want to feel this pain anymore. Oh, I don't want to feel it again. So you would go into the relationship or your next relationship um, trying to basically communicate better because a lot of times 
relationships come to an end for people not listening or or looking for the warnings of the person getting ready to leave because we so we be so self-absorbed into what's going on in our lives that we don't pay attention to what we need to give to the other person so and, sometimes and, and, huh i was gonna pick it back on you i, I didn't go ahead I, I, go ahead but you know when relationships meaning that you're becoming one the, the same that leads up to marriage you have to first be in a relationship and learn how to be oneness together in the relationship that moves you into marriage where you are equally yoked together and took these vows to be one person that means that you have to feed off each other's energy that means that you can't make decisions in the relationship that affects both of y'all or the family based off of how you feel. And it has to be somewhere in this part where you take um, considerable consideration of the other person and put them first as they put you first too. So when you come to that point where, you know, Melo say, I can't, ain't no heartbreak, but I can't even see it, Kate. Mm -mm. Ain't no heartbreak, but really, bro, that's what we going with. <laughs> see, Melvin wants me to be ratchet, and I'm not going to be ratchet tonight. But uh, it's not a good feeling, and it does take time. Either you can either, like I say, find a way to correct it, because just because a relationship comes to an end, it doesn't mean that it necessarily won't begin again. I don't see people get divorces who are married and Honest. End up and, and getting back and get back married. So, you know, it's, it's all up to the individuals on how they want to look at the pain. The pain can't correct you and make you a better individual. No pain, no pain, no I'm gonna pain. Say, I was going to take it back on you, Legacy. I was going to say one thing, and I, and I often say on plenty of our shows, is we as individuals, and this goes for men and women, sometimes we, 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 we fail to um to listen. Um, A lot of times when your partner's saying, do you hear what I'm saying? And you're like, yeah, I hear you. You know, hearing is one thing. Hearing is what's coming out of their mouth. But listening is detecting what they're not saying you gotta you gotta you gotta decipher and analyze what they're trying to say or what they mean by what they said and this and that that's the listening part see mm -hmm. hearing is what's coming out of your mouth but listening is oh she said this or he said this but they really meant this now i see how you feel so you gotta analyze so both of you are playing um doctor with one another basically because you're, you're being analytical and you got to analyze what each other's saying because sometimes people can't express exactly how they feel or what they mean so you got to listen not just hear the words coming out of my mouth but listen I'm, what i'm trying to say i'm gonna give you an example of that let's say let's say it was a person your woman asking you a question And what do you say about those people that get divorced and get back together? Um, I would say that they found out that they really were for each other and they, they, they decided that being without each other was not something that they wanted to do. So they probably went through counseling and got them some help and learned how to love each other like they were supposed to love each other in the first place. But... To be the piggy back, that's like you hear people tell you, or, or you hear somebody say, Okay, whatever, that's how we doing it. That's how we doing it. When when you hear that right there, that's your that's that's your flag. It ain't no it's okay. They just telling you okay, because they're getting ready to do something to make you feel that. So you have to hear and then listen because that was your warning that something's about to take place. And most of the time, you know, when you've been in a relationship for so long, you think, you know, that that person been with you for so long that... You changed, big bro. 
I'm not going to give you what you want tonight, Melvin. You want me to act up. So, Tay, Tay, let me ask you this question because you, cause you've been kind of silent. How do you get over a broken heart? Everybody been saying it. It's tough. You got to look out for yourself. You got to see what what happened within you and that person. And you got to better yourself in order to move on to the next person or just like you say, depending upon what's going on in the situation, you could be going back to the other person. Okay. Ms. Costa, go ahead. Do you read what she's saying? Like? You first of all has to find love upon yourself before you can find love in others. There's never a perfect relationship. I've been in a relationship with a man I met on Facebook from selling my food online. Within a month, he brought me a very expensive engagement ring, and I accepted it because I thought I have really found true love. This man was using God like he was right in his face, saying God told him that I must be his wife. I believed him until the real him came out the closet. He became a... Drum roll. She's still typing. Oh. Um, but to be continued. That, yeah, that's my but but we but even with that, a a lot of times we use crutches and say stuff like, oh, that uh, uh this person was a bad you also You're in touch with your feelings now, big bro. Life Life I mean, he did. He did have a, a birthday. No, <laughs> he is one year older, and that's one year wiser. Mello, he know not to say nothing crazy because he know I'd be ready for his butt. So he treading the line. He tread lightly. Leave that man alone. He don't want a headache tonight. He been working too many hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say this. I have I have grown. You know, you don't you're a fool if you continue to do the same shit. Okay. You'll be surprised. <laughs> Some people stay the same way forever. They gonna die that way. Okay. Can DOD or POP be ever converted to permanent? And let me explain. DOD is dick on demand. POP is pussy on pussy on demand. So can DOD or pussy on demand or dick on demand ever be converted to a permanent man or woman? Why not? You're on mute, Legacy. You mean relationship? Yes. Ladies, y'all want to go first? Y'all will holler first? I don't get down like that, so I don't know what to say. So, so if, you're, <laughs> if you're in a single situation, and you're in a situation ship where you just got a a dude that you can go to that can fulfill that scratch. Yeah, transfer the Splike of Valley over to your dude. Of course. Could that person ever become your permanent Yes. Say you is crazy. I think I'm it depends, I think it depends said, on the person not? too, because like you know, it, it depends on the person because sometimes people don't they they feel more comfortable uh not being in that upgraded position. Unlikely so, but not possibly. Yeah, like a like a uh like if you had a if you had a side chick or a side dude, right, and then they were they were fulfilling that that particular need, maybe they don't necessarily want to be upgraded to a full time, you know, they want to work part time and not and not full time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so then, when, but then when, when somebody else tries to upgrade them and make them and make them a full time a full time, you know, uh, the, the one whatever. Sometimes they cannot adjust to oh. it. So and basically, they, you, so basically, Chuck, you saying it depends on the person, depends so, on the couple, the people. But that's not a couple. That's a situation ship. It depends on the situation ship. Right. So you're saying that a person who a woman or a man have on the side, they don't have something on the side if they're not in another relationship. That's what they're dealing with. So yeah, the only you're time single, you're single, 
And there was All right, so that person over. that person wouldn't be on the so side. So you're you're saying that they're that they're only seeing each other. They're not seeing other people. Right. So okay. that's not yeah. that. That would no. I'm be... saying it could be it could be the same. Even if you're even if you were saying, okay, well, look, I'm just gonna see you. We're we're just seeing each other, but then we're just sexing each other. We just you're just sexing each other, whatever. Like it's just, but it's just you having, you know, sexual relations with that one on with that person one on one is what you're saying. Is that correct? It's possible because you could be having sex with multiple people. Okay, so that part I didn't know. That part I didn't know. I was he I was be leaving like, he be leaving stuff out. <laughs> well, well, I, well, cause I didn't want it. I didn't want it to assume that, that because you're only having sex with them, then technically that's a relationship. No, you're not in a relationship with them. There's no commitment. Then right. you're not in it. Then if that's the case, then that's not a side person. That's just somebody you sleeping with. Exactly, a splike of belly. Y'all acting right. like y'all babies on this platform. Jamal said, <laughs> not with one of the people they were yeah. using. They have to find someone new. So what, what I'm trying to get from Chuck is there's when a person when you put a person in a box yeah and say this is my black of belly as tell as say say yep you're saying that I enjoy being with this person but it's okay for this person to have other people that they're sleeping with and you too well no and I'm just saying if 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 they if that's in a, if that's something that's already understood but Tony's question. But hold on, what that, that's what I'm finna. Up. That's what I'm finna get to. That's what I'm finna get to, Chuck. Okay. But yeah. when when you say, "Hey, I want to make you my significant other," right? And that person tells you, "No, uh -huh. I'm used to this right here." Right. This gives me the avenue to do what I want to do. This gives me the avenue. To be able to sleep with as many people as I want to, and I don't have to deal with. But not see. That's what I'm saying. I don't think it's necessarily that deep because they could they could may they may just only want to sleep with that one person or whatever. But they don't want to be upgraded to to being that that a full time companion because they, they that just, comes they, with because that comes with responsibility. That comes it, it with does exactly. That's what I'm trying bills, to say. That yes. comes with taking care of. It comes with more know, commitment and more exactly. obligation. Yeah, Chuck say hold the obligations for 500 Alex. <laughs> <laughs> so so that's what I'm saying. If 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 you decide that okay, this because right now people don't understand or not when you are just allowing yourself to be with somebody like that, right? And they're coming in to you and saying once that's your position, that's your position. Right. But that person always can't upgrade right. your status here because then you start getting extra. Exactly. And that's you know what, what Mellow? Uh-uh. Legacy, we ain't even finna start this. Mellow sidebar. <laughs> that we is what I'm saying. <laughs> you cannot <laughs> just decide that because you like this person and now your feelings have got involved because you've already told this person, I only want to sleep with you. So when you go to telling a person, hey, I want you to be my man, that this man is, is comfortable with his, or, or woman, this person is comfortable with their position. Let's be clear. When, like in a straight relationship, heterosexual, whatever y'all want to call it, when you had them spike of bellies, it be y'all niggas that go to tripping before the females. Y'all know what it true, is. True. Be us with a cousin, brother, uncle, you passing the fuck out like we buried it all. What, what's wrong with you? True, bro. Well, you that, I think that's I think that's true for the dudes public, that don't have a that don't have dog. abundance in their life. That the dudes that don't have abundance and don't have and don't have options and choices. Correct. Those are the dudes that are freaking out. The ones that the ones that have that have options and choices because they because they have other other women that are that are approaching them or or talking or whatever. They're not they're not necessarily stunting the woman that's 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 feeling that way. You that know what I'm saying? Sense. Listen here, you the, you the only other light bright on this show. You ain't finna trick me into that foolishness. Every I'm just telling, I'm just being, I'm just being direct. I'm being honest about no, it because. Let me tell you, it be the dudes first up that be like, you know what, listen, I don't want to be in a relationship, little mama. We good, you do you. Bet. And then little mama take you up on that. And when I give you that Leo energy, y'all can't take that shit back. 
boy, y'all try to burn down the bitch whole house. So me, I be like, that no, person, I'm listen, good. that's because that, you be that putting that it on them like that. That, that, though, that person was already psycho. Let me that tell person, you, that person me, was I'm already way psycho. Gay. I don't even look at men no more. I'm fully gay. Fuck my <laughs> I'm all the way gay. <laughs> what say? You see what me with a man, I'm holding him for the police. Them folks, them folks that, was all them folks was already crazy in the range. And I'm y'all didn't see it. And y'all didn't see it until he showed crazy in the range. Let me did check. we get did we get the second part of what the man turned out to be? Yeah, she ain't never seen. I ain't seen the message yet. I was waiting on that too, girl. I'm nosy. Well, well, let me tell y'all. Let me tell you. Probably the story. End it. it see, probably was narcissistic. See, no, see what happened is that y'all don't know the story, but I know the story because she has told the story on the show before. Oh, sorry. She, this, she also had how that situation went was before she met the dude. She was in a relationship still with another woman. So the dude came, took her from the other woman, and then she moved the woman out of the house. And then the dude starts saying, uh, for being a lover. And then he revealed that he was crazy in the range. We have to understand that you have to, before you make these, these, this, these decisions, you have to understand. Somebody did the mommy bad. Take mommy bad. Let me tell you, they didn't do me bad. It's just if if you make a deal with me or you tell me, listen, we we do womp the womp. It is what it is. Don't get in your feelings the way you turn into the bitch, but I'm still a soldier. Like I'm not understanding. You ask me, a person could put me on the stand. Did you sleep with that? I don't even know this motherfucker. <laughs> <What the God>. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga over here giving you dates, time, places. Motherfucker. He got the receipt from the hotel. Bruh. They, <laughs> what I was doing, what I had on. Nah, I'm good. I'm good on that shit. Oh, man, I'm so good. <laughs> I I don't know. Can't nobody I'll... trick me into no foolishness, no more. My man is two years old. Bam. Got you him. see what she say? That part too. I'm telling you. So, but, but like I say, people that act like that are mostly deranged people. They already know, okay, I can't come out and show them that I'm crazy. So they not gonna show you that they crazy until they feel like they locked in with you, and then they here it is now. Well, listen, now I know we made this plan, but like Melo say, once you've already told somebody that this is all you want from them, and then six months down the line you decide that you know what, I'm really feeling this person. I want more than that. If that person ain't feeling. Being more than what job you gave them from the very beginning, they they're not gonna change it because now you want to be more. You're messing up what they've already had going by talking about being into a more intimate, more exclusive relationship. This is just fun for them. Well, I mean, think about it too. Like, <clears throat> what if it's what if it's like a like? You know, I know I'm adding some stuff to the game, but what about the woman that's like? She has kids. She doesn't. She she's living her single life. She's already she's already have her has her stuff established and so on and so forth. But she doesn't she doesn't want to be more than just. She doesn't want to have more of a, a relationship. She just wants to be more sexual with the person. Or maybe she she was married and and burned at a at a different point in time in her life. She was already married and she doesn't want she doesn't want to be married or in a relationship like that anymore or whatever. It's just not where she's at right now. You know what so, I mean? so 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 in the, he comes. In the, hold on, in the yeah. part in the in the process of that, in the process of that, you allowing you're gonna allow someone to use your body until you ready to say now nah, I want a relationship. Then by the time you ready to be in a relationship, that person don't use your body up. So now you've been the brain. You definitely. But legacy, they all have the option to say no. 
Let me tell you, they, they don't have the option to say that they don't that they don't want to be a part of that. Willing, they right, that's what I'm saying. But, right. yeah. but for those, but for those that endure that and say, okay, this is something we're talking about, people that are willing to do it. Right. So by the time you decide that you're ready to be in a relationship with someone else and take it serious, you don't been letting somebody else play in your jukebox the whole entire time, and now this man got to come in and listen to old records. <laughs> Legacy ain't no, don't nobody be on that but your old nigga spiritual self. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm telling you, don't. I'm telling you, when you decide, by the time you decide, who that is at the bottom? <laughs> don't, him. don't worry about that. That's him. Who that? Who that is at the bottom? Don't worry about that. I need to hear his voice. Milo, you on block? You you on mute? <laughs> he must be coming back. Dang. But th I'm, that's what I'm talking about, Chuck. Yeah. Why would you? Would you? Let's be serious. You you find a single mother like the same way that you just said. Tayama. And, and she and she she's been single, yeah. but she she tells you she had no serious relationship in the last three years, and you say, well. Well, how many men you been with in those three years? And she tell you five, probably eight. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe more than that. that Maybe more than that. Yeah. Are you are you gonna seriously take her serious that no. she's been trying to find herself? Not at all. And or she tell you, hey, yeah, I had this one dude that we've been, you know, we've been dealing with each other for about three years, but you know, he he had sex with other people. That was the only person I had sex with. So technically, you had just sex with just as many people as he did because he had sex with other people and you had sex with him. That's just a madness I wouldn't even want to be a part of, to be honest. So you're saying that you don't you <laughs> wouldn't want a woman who is just allowing herself, talking about she's getting herself together. But at the same time, let somebody use her goods while she's deciding to get herself together. Well, we were for originally we were talking about that the other person was didn't want to have sex with other people. They just wanted to have sex with with you. Right. Right. But if I'm allowed to still have sex with other people. Good night, Adrian. Good night. I'm, if I'm allowed to have sex with other people because me and you are not in a serious relationship, you're saying you don't want a relationship. That don't you just like having sex with me? That don't stop me from having sex with someone else and having sex with you. So if I'm having sex with three other women and you don't even know that I'm having sex with three other women, but I'm still having sex with you because you enjoy having sex with me, you're sleeping with who I'm sleeping with. Yep. Mm -hmm. But in this situation, I guess it really wouldn't matter if they did know because they, they just a piece also. They made themselves a piece. And that person that they allowed themselves to be sexually active with without having any responsibilities of being your man or your woman has the benefits of everything and you're just a convenience. That's like, that's like Carolyn saying... Well, Legacy, can I see you tomorrow night? You're like, no, I'm going to be with Karen tomorrow night. Um, I can see you on Tuesday. Right. Last last comment, last statement. And I got to give it to you two, two different times. I got to give it from a boy's point of view and from a girl's point of view. So men. Do y'all see this? Men. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Here, here we go. That's my bro. Come on out. <laughs> <laughs> he had to see your big wall. <laughs> yes. He had, to, he had to pop in on you just to make sure that you was going to answer the next question correctly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the pop out. So you see the foolishness, Chuck. You get it. Okay. So men, here it is. You're walking in the mall one Saturday. You know, the mall be packed on Saturdays. Everybody in there got on they nice little outfits there. They ain't dressed to death, looking clean, smelling good, looking good, so fresh, so deaf. You run into this chick. Mama is fine as hell, thick, just what you, just everything you ever desired 
visually in a woman, she's it. Everything you have a vision, I mean, she's your your Beyonce, your Gabrielle Union, your your Vivica, your whatever it is that that's hot to you, your your Christina Aguilera, your you know whatever. But she's it. So you walk up to her, start a conversation, start you know she just shot blah 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 blah, boom, she buys it. Y'all exchange phone numbers, y'all text and call each other for maybe a week or two. Um, y'all start going out on dates for about two months. So she gets to the point where she's really feeling you and she, you know, y'all start having sex. Then she says, you know, she, 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 she won't take it to the next level. So now she wants to introduce you to her family. So she starts taking you to family gatherings. You then meet all the family members, her siblings, brothers, sisters, niece, nephews, cousins, uncles, daddy, mama, everybody. And you and her sister have a better vibe, a better rapport. Y'all sense of humor is better. Y'all click better. And visually, she's even more attractive than you ever wanted. And in your mind, you're like, damn, I should have met her first. Fellas, what do you do at this point? Same thing, ladies. You in the mall. You see this hot this 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 this, this dude. He's all that you ever desired. He he's your Tay Diggs, your your Morris Chestnut, your 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 whatever. Crystal light lit up when you said Morris Chestnut. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's your Boris Kojo. You step to him, or he stepped to you. Morris Chin Nut. Okay. Y'all have a conversation, exchange numbers, start talking. Start dating, start having sex. Then he starts filling you, start taking you to his family gatherings. And again, you met all the family, and the brother is even finer. Bow legs, muscles, tatted, all that in a bag of chips with sour cream. I love sour cream now. I love sour cream. Hello, I ain't going to <laughs> Now, all of a sudden, you, in your mind, you're saying, damn, I should have hollered at the brother. The brother even better. Y'all, y'all, you and the brother, you know, chemistry was even better. Chat was better. Conversation. Everything. Ladies, what do you do? Now, That's who do you limits. want to respond first? That's Anybody? off limits. That's off limits. Yeah. Hands down. Hands down, that's off limits. And not only that, you could, and, and, and that could be just i don't that could be like lust that means nothing just because you might have that connection or whatever for that moment it doesn't mean that you will love that person fall in love with that person you know what i mean so no and that's totally off limits it's okay to be attracted to somebody but no and uh, well from, from a maybe what maybe what you're ahead, saying bro. like to, to add i'm sorry about that brother go but ahead just yeah, to add man. to what crystal's saying is like sometimes people Number one, that's just like it's not more, it's not morally correct. You know what I'm saying? To like to to have to be that shallow. But you could have a you could have chemistry with like more chemistry with another person, but then you'll find out that chemistry runs out and then you don't have a connection, which is Absolutely. which is completely different. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this. I don't know how much goddamn chemistry you can know you can have in, in, in a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> at a barbecue to say, oh my God, this is the one that I should have. You haven't even been around this person more than 10 hours. And you no, just you know, automatically... Multiple family gatherings. Well, you didn't say that. You said a family gathering. I just, I just invite you to the family gatherings. That's the okay. plural. Anyway, this is my... Th First of all, you probably never would have met that other person had you not have met the first person that you met. True. So I, I remember watching Joyce Myers talk about it. It was a little thing that they were showing. They was using that as an uh, allegory for women, on, but it can be used for anybody. But they were saying about how it was this, this store that a person go to and they ask, they look for they, you know, the best person they can have. Well, on the first floor, the person meet. He got a you know a regular blue collar working dude, but he loves the individual with all his heart or her heart, and da 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 da, and it's good. 
but it's the second floor. And they ask me, well, you know, well, let me see what's on the second floor. And they go on the second floor and they got a better version of that person that was on the first floor, but enhanced a little bit more. And it was six floors and every floor got better. There were seven floors and every floor got better. And when they got to the sixth floor, it said that the the, per, the woman had went had met a this this man or the men on this floor are rich, rich. They're very intelligent, smart. They got charisma. They handsome. They like to work out. They had everything that a woman could possibly ask for in a man. But being so inquisitive Greedy. and ungrateful, they still wanted to go. To the seventh floor, and when they got to the seventh floor, when she, when he or she stepped off on the seventh floor, it said, "The person that you're trying to get to does not exist. You can no longer come back into this store." See, sometimes we can have the person or what it is we're looking for in a person, and because we're so lustful we're so greedy disloyal we're not we're, we don't we don't we, we don't know what is good we don't know what is good for us because mm -hmm. it's just as so as a man most men see a beautiful woman he may have a beautiful woman that's home cook for him and do all of this and that but because he was driving down the street he saw something that's a little bit more appealing to him and the lust takes over yep and it can it's it, greedy well, and immature it, exactly so what i'm gonna say is to the person that you know was invited to the barbecue and you looked upon the lady that has been get, providing for you and giving you and taking care of you as you've been taking care of her, and you looked upon her sister or you looked upon his brother and lusted upon them and thought that hey darnisha, hey, darnisha. And, darnisha. and felt in your soul that oh my god, I fucked up. I should have met the other person first. Then you really need you you yourself really need to be alone because there's nothing that's going to satisfy you because yeah, just so as you find another person because that person right there leave you. When you find another person, that just means that when you go to another fucking gathering. You're going to be looking upon yeah, the, yes. the cousins, the brothers, the mm -hmm. uncles, the daddies to see if you need to leave the person that you with that brought your ass to the party. And not even, not only that, too, like what goes around comes around. You know what I'm saying? Like she she, she could be you know, whatever. I don't know. Sometimes karma doesn't come back the same exact way, but you got to expect that what you put out there is going to come back, come back to you Absolutely. in some way, shape, or form. Absolutely. Absolutely. What, what, do you, what do you say, Miss Tang? Big facts. Absolutely. Oh, I'm stuck. Hey. Why would you be looking at somebody else? That means you're not happy with what you got. That's love. Hey, bro. Laugh my ass off. <laughs> he said, Welcome back. <laughs> bro, why do you why do you not like me to be calm, cool, and collected. Because it don't seem, because knowing who legacy and who you are, how you how outspoken you are, on that choice of being calm, cool, collective is like a version of fakeness. It's not <laughs> calm, it's not genuine, it's sincere. It's like you're not giving, you, you're, not, you're not right because you're holding back, you're not being truthful. You being you being like these people on these questions, <laughs> just slimy. Well, I mean, hold on. He said, "Bro, I know you. See, I see, you can't do. Yeah. So they expect we'll be, we'll, be back. we'll be back after this commercial. Just in time accessories. We have the blame." and everything in between. Tayama Copeland is your independent paparazzi consultant. Everything is only $5. You can catch Tayama on Facebook Live at Tayama Copeland or you can find her at www.justintimeaccessories. Just in time accessories. We have the bling 
and everything in between. Check it out. Just in time accessories. We have the bling and everything in between. Tayama Copeland is your independent paparazzi consultant. Everything is only $5. You can catch Tayama on Facebook Live at Tayama Copeland. Or you can find her at W. I just want to remind everybody if you're just tuning in, you know, tonight we're. You know, we have an awesome show. We have um, several guests on our show tonight. I just want to remind everybody, definitely click that subscribe button. It costs you absolutely nothing to subscribe, so subscribe. Also, comment below. When you put your comments below, we will read your comments loud on the show and respond accordingly. And definitely click that like button. That means the world to us. You know what I'm saying? So do that for us. And, of course, they say sharing is caring. So go ahead and share this with your friends and family so they too can know what's going on over here. And figure out what all the craziness is all about. And again, Tony, let me, Tony, let me ask Melo a question. Well, and, and again, hold on. Tonight's topic again is let's talk about sex, grown folks conversation. And then we have like um, one or two other things to talk about. And also, I just want to give a shout out for Black Excellence. We have here a 16 year old team that makes um, history. history. He becomes the youngest. Um, glider pilot in America. So shout out and hats off to this young brother, a black male that's doing his thing, black excellence at his best. Congratulations. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And also, I just want to remind everybody that the month of June is national, recognized as National Pride Month. <laughs> you want to find all your friends and family members that's a part of the LGBTQIA community. Give them a great big old hug. So how much you love and appreciate them. Go ahead, Legacy. Uh, I, I'm, Melo, I want you to, to tell me, when you say you know me, are you saying that you know how? What do, What is your definition of you know me? And I know we brothers, but I want you to know, I want you to explain mm -hmm. you know me because I know you know how how I used to live my life. But I'm saying are you are you are you afraid of me changing or or are you just saying that I'm not being my normal self on the show. We can move on. Okay. I answer that for you. You're being very tamed. All right, Tony, come on now. I'm ready for these replies. Can we please not put me on the spot? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go ahead. Well, those were all the questions that I had. But I'm but one off the top of my head, off the top of the dome, I just want to ask. And it, and it came up on, I put it on my Facebook page one time and I got a lot of responses, but I'm going to ask it again. Um, for everybody, um, guests and, and um, cast members, would you rather have a feminine gay son or a slutty daughter? Oh, I remember that question. Mm. I remember that question. And what I had put, I said the um, the feminine gay son because obviously that the son he came out of the closet, so obviously everyone knows that he gay that he's gay. He's probably you know um, very courageous, very brave, very proud of himself. I'd rather have that someone that's living their truth instead of a slutty daughter. To me, to have a slutty daughter, maybe she has some issues that she needs to work out, some inner child wounds or something like that to be slutty. Um, so I would. You know, first of all, I would love both of my kids, but um, just knowing that I have a slutty child, a slutty daughter, there's something that she needs to heal within herself, and she's not living her truth by doing stuff like that. But the my gay my gay son, obviously. So, well, Miss Crystal, let me let me let me let me ask you something, Miss Crystal. Why huh? is it that? Why is it that when 
why is it that when people are, are in a in a in more sexual, let's say more sexual, mm-hmm. and they're young, why is it that they have to have some some issues? Or you know, like daddy issues or things like that. So, most people don't realize that society raised our children more than we do. They're influenced more by social media and things that happen outside of your home because the mother and the dad can be perfect role models to their kids. Absolutely and, true. And it has nothing to do with issues of them not loving themselves. It's just that they've they've accepted the fact of that, you know. Nicki Minaj say this, or Rick Ross say that. So this is, you know, these are the people with the money. So obviously they have to be the people that have the answers compared to looking at mom and dad who may have been together for 25, 30 years and they don't value um, what marriage and relationships are based off of what they're hearing in society. So it's yeah. not it don't necessarily mean that she or he has, you know, issues that they have to heal from within. It's just that they just took the role to be a follower instead of a leader. Very true. But I was like not referring to really these kids these days, the people that I grew up with, because all the ones that I knew that was starting and bopping, they did have a lot of issues okay. and them respect for themselves. Okay. Tay, Tay and Chuck. He said Tay first. Would you rather have a feminine <laughs> gay son or the slutty daughter? It would be the son for me. Because he's being real about who that's, that's what they want to be. I couldn't deal with the daughter being doing that. You said you, you could deal with the daughter? I couldn't. I kicked oh. my daughter tail. <laughs> so you can deal with the son. I I would have to deal with both, but I'd rather deal with the son than the daughter being a slut. Um, Chuck, I'm right there with Tay and Crystal. My answer is that exactly the same. Legacy. Oh, that's that, I think that's a real fucked up <laughs> um, <laughs> statement for people to have to answer. Um, it's def- for me. I'm a, I mean I'm a, I'm gonna have to go with my, um one of my boys because I I me I just couldn't fathom that being going on with my daughter. You know, you got a hundred men running through my. You know what I'm saying? I, it would drive me crazy. She coming yeah. in all times of the night. Every time I turn around, there's a different nigga pulling up at the house. That shit would drive me insane. Legacy, I just want to say, nigga, you about to make me cry. I remember three years ago when we started this show, how your views were. And in three years, how much you've evolved and grown. I, I'm serious. I'm about to shed a tear. You're a better human being. I'm like, wow. Is this my same brother? Oh, God. Come on, Mello, too. <laughs> so you, you did the game crazy. It, but... What would Mel, Melvin? What would Joe have to be? I just can't figure. I agree with Tay and Crystal. You said what? I have a question. This woman I know brought a sex toy, the Rose. She says before yes. she have sex with her man, she lets him watch her get her groove on with this Rose then have sex with him afterwards. Do y'all think that's very rude for them to let her friend watch her bus off with the rose before she interact with him? I'm just wondering. I mean, I wouldn't have, a, I don't have an issue with it because obviously they got an understanding of that's, that's how they enjoy intercourse. And as long as they both agree with it, 
and he ain't got a problem with it. Legacy damn so ain't got a problem with it. Yeah, um, but I'm a firm believer. First of all, what goes on in, in the privacy of your bedroom is between you and the other person, or between the two two individuals. And so, and so, and what becomes normal to you may not be normal to others. And when it becomes taboo or strange is when you start sharing what you do with others, and they look down upon what you're doing and be like, "Girl, you do that or what?" Now it becomes an issue. But long as you wasn't sharing it and only doing it, but keeping it to yourselves between the two of you, it wasn't an issue. So. My, I'm a firm believer what two individuals do in the privacy of their home, if it works for them, then that's all that matters. So, so in this example, if, if they're happy with what they're doing or, or the structure in which their um, intimacy happens, more power to them. I'm happy for them. Anybody else got to say anything about that? I gotta since we talking about sex, ain't nobody seem like they wanna say nothing. We're talking about do, sex all night. Say what you talking? What you mean about I wanna say nothing? We're talking about sex all night. No, no, I'm talking about what Miss Fudge was just talking about. I was letting everybody take their turn. Well go go ahead then. For me personally, I think that is the most sexiest thing. For either you party to arrive, I showed up wood. You just nasty. first and foremost, if you please yourself to the point of no return, honey, you from zero to a thousand already. So, bro, better hold on. <laughs> and if you do it right, he gonna be so rock hard for watching what you done did. So it all the, I don't know. I feel with sex, there should be no rules. Exactly. When it comes to, that's why I see, I'm not on none of y'all freak level. Y'all freak level compared to mine is like a two. I'm somewhere outside the window, down the street, running to the, I don't know. But so, when y'all talk, I just be like, I would be so fucking bored fucking y'all. So, so let me, oh God. It would be so boring for me. So, I wouldn't so, waste so, my time. So, so, so you, you think that if you're with a man, you should be able to bring a toy to the bed and ask him. You should be strong enough and comfortable enough to ask him to let you put a toy in his ass. No, that is not what I'm saying. I'm saying, let me tell you, if going in, let's say if I just want to grab your butt, like you say, a woman better not even grab my ass. No, that's not. That's, listen, you listen, grab to no me. Man ass. listen to me. No, meaning if you're having sex and he going in and out and you you know how you, the, you'll just like grab him now. If I can, once you give me all them rules, I'm instantly turned off and I'm like, you know what, bro? I'm good on this. Because like, I, it's the difference if someone violates you and don't be like, but before you have sex, y'all should already have had this conversation. But tell well, me, how many people, you tell you, like, how many people how you know, you like how it? many people like you it? know have full conversations? Hold on, come on, say. Go ahead and read well, it. You are so wrong. I like Tiama and Juice's stance. Your opinion is definitely wrong. Why is my opinion wrong? Because I don't want that. But my thing is this. I say I just do it and then ask for forgiveness afterwards. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Let like me Tay, look, Tay, Tay, if you want to turn a dude out, you want to turn a dude out, you just go ahead and turn him out. Don't ask no questions ahead of time. Let me just, see. Just, that's, that's, that's what she's doing. You can ever do to someone. Never take someone freedom. Because once they lose that trust with you, you what can't trust? go past. Like you literally set that wall if you don't go into things openly and like educational with things. And us as black people, our parents never really taught us about sex. <laughs> it, it's just like, let's be honest. A lot of people, if you talk to your friends and stuff, if they're anywhere from 35 and up, that whole sex thing is not something that they just like openly talk about because your parents are like, okay, you got a monthly, he'll go a pad, this is what you do. That's the end of that. 
you have boys gonna give you cooties like a lot of parents did not sit their kids down because it was a very uncomfortable thing for i'm born in 82 so my mom's 62 like my grandmother didn't do it to her so she wasn't all that open with me y'all y'all know the story man her came on now the lady stopped talking to me for two years because i was gay oh you think i'm gonna stop my life because you i'm not hurting you but i'm dating a girl but you got a problem bet i see you when you come around so when she saw we got the same personality guess what oh girl came around but well, education is key but legacy everything about you I wouldn't give a damn if your dick from here to the mall to Tony house from my house. <laughs> I wouldn't give a damn. That shit would be so boring to me because everything is, oh, uh-uh, and you can't, uh-uh. The fuck? Well, well, we, ta well, we talk about, hold on, we talk about women's bodies, right? And we talk about a woman has a right what she wants to be done and do to her body. No, Everybody but you got a whole right. bunch of stuff. But it don't matter because it's me. Mello, Mello, come, come back on, Mello. So, uh, come um, back on. You know, <laughs> I want to hear what Juicy got to say. Well, Go ahead, Kate. answer to her question, you know, I think it's a little bit different with the scenario about the dildo because he was hiding it and this lady up front with it. And so if they, if they okay with it because they have communicated and this is what they like, this is what they do, then that's what they should do. So I don't see anything wrong with that. Right. It's not it's not rude, it's not disrespectful if this is what she wants and this is what he's okay with. Now, if he had said, I don't like that, I don't want that, like the guy said with being open in a relationship, and then he compromised for the sake of love and then wanted to renege on his compromise because he couldn't handle it, because he couldn't handle it from the beginning. At least he gave an effort, he tried, but if people doing it and they are aware of what they're doing, you can't fall. There's nothing wrong with people who agree. Right. That's 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 the consent. I think if you gave if you gave consent to it, you 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 like it. I love it. Read that, Kate. Oh, I'm driving. Let me see if I can okay, see. Okay, go. Um, I love, I love oh, watching. I Go ahead, Tony. I love watching my people crank crank that imagination solo till I can't stand to watch no more. And just to have to jump in anyways, that's option of one of my friends. Then he also hey. said, I, I put some bait out and Legacy didn't bite. Damn. He has <laughs> Come on, I'm coming to your job tomorrow. We're gonna talk about this. Don't fall for that. Come on, I will be at your I'm, job tomorrow, I'm baby. I'm don't fall for it. I'm evolving. I think you didn't Tony when you post this up to the internet. I think you just need to call it you done changed. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, he haven't changed. He just don't get enough sleep no more. Oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> hey, look, everything going over his head because he half awake, half asleep, just so y'all know. <laughs> but he gonna watch this again on his own time and he call it all y'all that had a copy. You better believe it. <laughs> well, Melo, Melo, are you there? Yes, I am. Oh, yo, you, you voice. Let's, so, I mean, bring something to the table, Melo, that women, let these women mind flow that you know then let them ask them a sexual question that you would like a woman opinion on youtube deep tony come on man please relax <laughs> okay <laughs> and then tell you i'm gonna talk about she want to stick a fight like come on man. no tell you that is not what tell you i said grand lelino you finna at live on me. I she said, say twirl the earl. Yes, twirl. Tayama did not say that. <laughs> I said basically it is men that like that and they're not gay. And I said that why should like and, and you know this for a fact. You love to see when your peoples play with their stuff, and even you said 
you sit back and you watch when they doing them then when you decide you want to jump in so if it's another girl pleasing her licking her down there or whatever and then you jump in or if it's a toy either way it go it goes down when she plays with herself and get it more wetter than you all that means she more wetter than fire and more wetter than go. <laughs> <laughs> That, that more wetter. Yes. He like, he like Just call it juicy. <laughs> yes. Not more wetter than you. Not, not, no, not, not more wetter than you before you. <laughs> he might warm it up. I said more wetter before you, meaning you know what? Y'all know what I mean. Don't come for me. Like I, have a question. I have a question for the ladies. Let's see. Don't come for me. I have a question for the ladies. Tay, Crystal, Juicy, Tayama. Mm -hmm. Which Tayama and Juicy was on the show. We we asked this question, so I'm gonna ask it again because we got other ladies on the show. You walk into the you come home from work at five o'clock in the evening, it's at five thirty, got oh, God. The floor, and you find your man on the sofa stroking, getting it, just going at it, watching porn. So? And you do you do you join in? Do you just going about your business or what? I jump on it. Okay. <laughs> Me, I don't think I would jump on it. I would actually yeah, put my lips at the top of it and let him finish jerking it off from that way. Yeah. Mm. Like I don't see. That's why I say I, my mind. Like I'm willing to go there. Now, if what I is? Deal with you, what I is, deal with you. What if he say no? Oh, 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 listen, Juicy, you right. What? Wow. What do you say? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me answer. Let me answer. He like, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish right quick. Right, right, right. Who's doing that? I got this. I got. Hey, I need your real answer. I need your real answer, Lee. All that. You hear me, Legacy? On the couch. Dude is gonna say no to that. You need to take it back. So I need to, I'm joining in. Yeah, I'm joining. Oh, I'm my girl. In. Okay, what about my girl? What, 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 I got something to add, though, Tony. I got something to add right quick. You feel me? So no, what if what if what if the girl walks in with her friend? <laughs> oh, wow. I'm already here. Yeah. <laughs> See what I'm saying? I know I know Tayama was gonna jump right on that. You know what I'm saying? She's gonna jump right in on that. My wife's friends are terrible. No, <laughs> <laughs> you know, well. now, what, what, the legacy made the example on the last show. Wow, what, what are we saying? Um, oh no, no, um, I'm just doing, I'm, I'm good, and stop you, ladies. Let me tell you, that must mean you got the worst hair on the planet. For real. Oh, that God. means God. your <laughs> stuff is so <laughs> <laughs> I will not let this be about me. That means that motherfucker don't want you. Donisha, you say, Donisha, say Donisha you already know, so, babe. Oh, but Dang. I never had that problem because if that was my dude, if I came in and he was doing that, he know what time I get home. So it's like he doing it for me because he want me to walk in and see that. Girl, we, we tried that whole Thank scenario. You. That didn't no, work. For Thank us. you. No, trust me. Trust me. I'll go in that shower real quick. Wash up. Come back out. Finish. Ain't, ain't nobody we, we waiting said, for you listen, to do we all of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's what yeah. I said. Oh, don't worry. That's yeah, that, yeah. You got to finish trust it with me. your head because the going and waiting. Trust yeah, me. Ain't nobody oh, waiting on that. I know. I speak what I know. I speak from experience. You speaking <laughs> off of you. We, we talk, but every man ain't every man ain't just been the way. Hold on, baby. You just I'm, this man been stroking before you walked in the door. We don't know for how long. But that's why he's stroking before you walked in the door because he was trying to sneak and get it off I was before stroking. you got home. What you doing, Clarence? Okay, so he can go ahead and stroke bust that shot off real quick eats. while I go I wash up. It to the west. So when he bust that first stroke shot off, the girl I'll be done and, and we ready. I love the best. Well, listen, yeah. we got two other things to talk about really, really fast because we're running out of time. But the first thing is everybody is going viral. I didn't see the video yet, but this is the clip <laughs> from the video where the 14 year old boy had got a gun or something and he was helping his mom fight. I don't have the whole story, so let's talk about it. 
Well, oh, it, was a, it, well. it was a it was a clip. I don't know what state or city it was in. I don't remember. But Chicago, the, the, Chicago, a man assaulted another uh, a, a young lady in a restaurant. I'm talking about bashing her in her face. So her son ran out to the car and got the gun and came back and shot him in the back and killed him while he was still attacking his mom. Mm -hmm. They arrested both the mom and the son on charges of murder, <coughs> but they have, as of the day, they was released with no charges being attached to them because of the abuse. They got the video and they seen mm -hmm. that the man physically assaulted the woman. And the thing is that I was telling Tony is in the video, if you guys go watch the videos, there are multiple men inside of this restaurant while watching this it. watching the assault out the took, door. Huh? They ran out the door. They ran out of the door. Mm -hmm. Now, what now this before I move on to what I want to say, I mean, we all can agree <clears throat> that that was a you know a real bad situation, and no man should put his hands on a woman in that in that way. Because he wasn't slapping his woman. He was bashing his lady to where she was unconscious. But as I was telling Tony that the reason, of, and, and I know some people are going to say, oh, legacy, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. A lot of people are shying away from getting involved and putting their lives on the line when it comes to women being assaulted in front of other men because women are out here screaming they don't need a man. So why am I going why why am I going to and I'm not saying that the women on this panel are are part of those women that are out here making it known or making it being felt that women don't need men in their lives. But when you're out here standing on this on this premise of saying a woman don't need a man but then when you need a man, men don't step up and stand in the gap for you being assaulted. How can you how could you how can how can you blame a man or men for allowing you as a woman to have to deal with a situation that requires a man? In, in, in my in my defense, ladies, or the ladies, I said the reason why a lot of women have the mentality of don't need a man is because all the men that they have chosen in their lifetime have not stepped up to the to the plate to be an uprighteous good man. So therefore they've all the men that she's chosen in her past have already proven that they ain't shit. So therefore she has developed that mentality where I don't need a man because I've always had to do it myself anyway. Let so, me add on to hold that. Hold on, hold on. Let hold me on. add on to that. Let me add on to that. Because it go with what you said. Because after what he just said, you have these men who don't add up. So when they stand and watch, it's because they don't even know how to add up. They know how to piggyback. They know how to say, oh, she don't need a man, so I get a pardon. They can't say, oh, she don't know what she needs because I'm a man. I'm going to show her what she needs. But how can they say that? How can they say that? How can they say that when you're saying you don't need one? Listen. Real men do real things. No, that that's lady, not that's that's that, not how society at, at this is. Point, today. When that lady was getting beat, she did not holler. I don't need you, man. I don't need a man. She them didn't men saw, them she didn't men saw, shit, but out. Them men saw that she needed help. That's but she, but she may have girl. Have them them fucking, men was scared when that girl shit. got hit. That man say one of them said, "Ooh, right." Thank you. He was right. He, he listen, was and, I, and, that's, I, that's and I agree I with him. Listen, Tate and Juicy, I agree with that. Every man is not a warrior, but at the end of the day, if the man got in the way and the man pulled a pistol and killed them, she still walks out of this motherfucker saying, "I don't need a man." Okay, but you know what? She didn't say that. So to say we're that, not talking about reason. her saying it. We're talking about you but as a woman. Is, we're talking about women. Women, but, but women don't we're, represent every that theory. Right then when are y'all? When are y'all gonna say? Tell me, legacy. Where are the women? Don't represent every woman's legacy. Let's That's be some bullshit. And every man, man and every man is not a gladiator, and every man is not a dog. Legacy. Mm -hmm. If a lot of men will step up and be the men that little girls need, their father, 
if they stand up and be that man, you will have a lot less women saying they don't need a man. But, but listen, but I'm not saying I'm not I'm not saying I'm not saying, I'm not saying that you're wrong. You cannot I'm not say saying that you're wrong. That you're saying, oh, well, if they say they don't need a man, well, if I ain't never have a nigga that a show, well, which I can't say that everybody know I worship the ground my daddy walked on. But <laughs> But I'm Tamar, what saying, I'm saying is this: if more women. If if more, more even if more you're women. saying that, even if you're saying that, you you could be correct. But what I'm saying is, y'all are saying that when most that these people can't speak for all women. But right. what what I'm saying is for for the women that they're not speaking <laughs> for, you're damn so not up here speaking against the bullshit that they're saying. I'm speaking against it. You know I do. But yes, let me, I know. I that's you, why. I that's why I clearly said say for the women that are. Let me on this let me podcast. ask this question real quick. So, any of the guys in here, like if you were in that same situation and you walk into a place, there's a woman that's being that's being assaulted. What what choice would you make? Would you would you jump into it, or would you or would you leave like the dude? Like he has done it before. Mm-hmm. And that's why I, I said real men do real things. But that has nothing, it had nothing to do with me being real. No, it had you know nothing what? to do with me being real. It had something to do with the fact that when I in it because I don't want to see it, but at the same time, I don't see situations. If I'm just walking in and I don't know what the hell going on, I may not just dive into it because I don't see situations where a man beating a woman ass and a man jumped in to help the damn woman and the both of them jumped on him. I don't, I don't you know, people business. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. That happens. Time, that happens, Chuck. It, it happens. Now, if that was if that was my woman or that was my daughter or that was my mama, I'm jumping in. I'm fucking everybody up. Sorry. <laughs> what well, do I don't give a damn the, if the, I get shot son, or not. Listen, if it's Chuck, some if it's son, some other chick that I don't know that I have Chuck, not, that I, listen, Chuck, I'm not I'm not risking my life or being the son when he got that thing and put that thing on him. Right. The son did what he was supposed to do, but. We also have to understand this too, Chuck. Those men didn't. We got. We have to understand that these men made a decision off based off of Ignorance they were there and, and they knew acts. and they knew exactly what went on. Ignorance they were there. And they knew exactly what went you. on. You know why he was going off on that lady? He I kept didn't telling, see the whole video. He kept telling her, "No, we didn't see that part. They didn't record to later on." The how they wind up getting off. Some of the people that was in there, he he was basically telling her to rush her order. He said, "How you gonna tell me what to rush when I waited to be here?" Mm-hmm. So being that she stood her ground, like, dude, you not just finna rush me. Tell me, I gotta hurry up. He fired off on her for no reason. Correct. Me being a female, and I was to be in there. Anybody that know me know my 380 is in my titties at all times. Me, her, and him would have been rumbling. I wouldn't have waited for a man to help her at all. Well, I'm just you know, you, and, and the thing of it is, because at, at that time, it, everybody it, it, knew that that lady was dead ass fucking right. If she right. stood in line to get there, right? This man is harassing her. Right. At that point, I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> all y'all niggas cowards. But Kate, but listen, Juicy, listen, Chuck. See, I don't right. even know about Chuck, this story. Listen, I have no idea. They're, they're in, listen, Chuck, they in, they're in Chicago, be right? Be harassed and jumped say, on. Say, I'm going like, to oh, say that they were in Chicago. Y'all always say y'all don't need a man. Say, right I'm going to say that they were in Chicago. You don't need a man. Chicago is one of the most violent. Is one is they're in one of the most violent cities where most people die yearly. You know what's so crazy? I'm willing to bet you if it was a white man now, that white man would have helped that black woman. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Hey, but, hey, but, but, but white hey, women, hey, white women are not the black men. White women are not the ones out here saying they don't need a man. Real true. The ones out here saying they don't need a man. But guess what? I don't know. If niggas would stand up. And stop being niggas. Stand, Guess stand, what? But that's what you. They but would. that's how y'all already see them. Uh, legacy. Mm-hmm. So that that's what, you that's talked what about you this need earlier, to go right? Get you a truck and pick up all these bum behind negroes. I can't and do teach it. Teach them how to be a man. But since I can't do it, but Tony, so what, this is what don't, don't sit there. Don't sit there and give a woman some BS 
when they no, I'm not giving up, no, I'm not giving nobody no pick head. up, and they gotta be the man, and then when they throw it in your face, you got a fucking problem. Stand up, be a man. It ain't that. But listen, hard. let me say this: you, you said the kid, you take care of that kid. You Stop said the correct word. To do they, everything. It's their choice. They choose their no. choosing these. So, these women so are choosing the these niggas. The fact that you would justify three men that was bigger than the little man that jumped on that woman. That is ass none. That is what retarded. Is, that is dumb. What are you talking about? You have a daughter, a black daughter. One day she gonna grow up. Yeah. But she could be, no, legacy. You're wrong. No, and you can't tell me that I'm wrong lady. because I don't that agree with what you're saying. Minding her business, ordering her kids food. Her daddy will this handle it. Hold up, so legacy, because I actually don't dude. know the story at all. I have no idea about the okay. entire. So Let can you explain the story. the story because then we can have like a foundation Listen, to talk about it. This is I, the I story. Told you what... The lady was in line, so she was in line getting her order. This dude did not like that this lady was ordering a lot of food, so he was hacked like hackling her tell her man come on other people need to order she tells him if you look he's talking to her and she's still looking this way mm -hmm. so then she finally figured okay you know what i gotta address him but she you know what him, how can you tell me what to do when i'm ordering with him she was mm -hmm. never a threat to this dude ever, she never ever. Ran those, she those never. men those the video is on my page at that point. The lady right. never raised her hand him. Than that. that lady never said, I'm going to do this, this, and nope, this. Nope, she didn't. It was recorded. She did. Those men, men. Let's those be clear. Go look at the video. It was four African-American men that mm. was at least a size bigger than this little old man that jumped on this lady. Mm. They, they should have intervened at that point. Thing, I swear on my grandmother. <clears throat> I'm going to knock your ass out. Mm -hmm. That's what he said, so, huh? Yeah. Let me tell you, before it got that far, any of them men could have said, bro, nah, listen, this this a lady. Mm -hmm. They did it. They pulled out the camera. They recorded. Coward. This dude swung, hit her once. Nobody intervened. That dude said, ooh, took off out the door, and the other three men followed him. Right. This dude got they don't want to be a witness. On this lady. The one girl comes from behind the counter. They didn't tell you that the cashier got a black eye too. Because <coughs> it did. was a woman that came to her defense. So when you tell me, oh, if women will stop saying, if men actually took their rightful places in the black community and actually stood up, it was a time to where you couldn't. You better believe but it. But what is y'all excuse now? It's no excuse. They Nobody don't know how. Now. Nobody has to make an excuse. Nobody has to make an excuse. Nobody has to make an excuse. I don't give a damn about I, that. I, I don't have the answer to that, Tiama. I know the answer is the, the excuse what? is modern day mothers are raising their kids to be that. I know of a mother right now that her son living in her household, he in his 20s, never had a job, don't work, two kids. The mother raising the two, two grandkids. Her, her 20 year old son, the, ba the baby mama, and her daughter. And let me so, tell you, you know why the mom is doing that? Let me tell you what I have learned. I'm going to take y'all down the psychology road. Oh, God. do you know what a lot of women do when they, when they do overparenting like that? Because they feel bad that, oh, this kid didn't have a dad. I chose the wrong man. If I would have chose the better man, he would have been there to teach my son to be a man. So who, who Either choice? Either way it go, at the who end choice? of the day, there should never be a time to where a black woman is surrounded by nothing but kings. You can't call them kings. All you could call them is little boys. <laughs> if you but know she's right, right, if you see a history black history woman history. And, she know, and you know she right, it's a difference Basically, if you walk in and you think this is a couple. You know this lady don't know this dude from Adam. And you can sit there and watch a black woman be beat. I want you to know okay. that's anybody else calmer that's sitting there. That you could allow that when you know you got women in your family. That could have been your mom. That could have been and your that man. Woman. And that, that person is going. That person should go. That person should go handle that situation when it happens to them. Let mom me tell you. And you know what's so fucked up about it? It took a little fourteen-year-old to take somebody life. Which was her. Which was her son. Which was her son. Which was her son.
Exactly. But so he did what he was supposed to do as her son. It was a shitload of grown ass men there. That had that nothing to do with him. You never had to go that far. But no it did. Legacy. No matter. Do anybody else on this panel? Legacy. Know what I'm I saying? understand exactly what you're saying because I think that There's what they're trying, no to, what they're trying to point to out is that, that there could have been far. some intervention earlier yes. on before it, before it escalated no to way. the point. But it didn't. They didn't. And this is why I'm trying to tell you. So everything out the butt is bullshit. Okay, keep going. The, the butt is bullshit. Me as a black woman, I can't take that butt. But Me that's you that can't woman, take it. I cannot respect them. Then stop telling. Then, then stand up and rock. tell the women Listen, to stop saying. Legacy. If you see a person, right is right, wrong is wrong. If I never said know, it was right. Listen. If you don't know. If you think you walk in and you see a man and a woman fighting and you think that's a couple and you say, I don't get in people business, I go with that. But when you being a witness sitting there and seeing that lady was ordering her food because you was behind her and you saw what happened, how it played out, it played out so well that a black woman with a 14 year old black son killed somebody. It's on camera. Guess what? They walk free, bitch. What happens and in they America? Post, Nowhere. And they post to walk it doesn't free. happen. They it do walk not free. happen. So being that that says this lady was completely assaulted. Yes. She was around nothing but supposed to be king. <laughs> right. Let's be clear. Supposed to be. Mm -hmm. If I was her for the rest of my life, I would be fuck a nigga too. Mm -hmm. She probably was already on fuck a nigga. You don't know that. And you don't but, know that that's how she's gonna be the rest of her life. Guilty with you being a black man, and you would be okay, perfectly okay. That should have never been a time if it was that many grown men in the facility that that baby felt that he that was his only option. Well, that was that was if you watch the video before the punch, the the mother was telling him to go to the car to get it. Yeah, they said that too. Because she already she... knew she was going to have a problem. Dude, right. Wasn't... Listen, they said Hold that she dude sent, she's, would Hold on a second. Let me, let, me, let me check in on this real quick. So she sent her son out to the car to go get a gun? Yes. yes. Before See, that's some dumb shit right there. That's, that's exactly. dumb right there. <laughs> if you look, look on my Facebook page, Mello. She could have just, you know Everything what? She could have diffused there. it too, though. I don't understand. And I would she could have she could have just she could have diffused it herself too because at that point in time, she should have probably just walked out and was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she gonna tell her son to go out to the car and go get a gun? Let me well, tell you. If, if, she, if, if, if she told him to go get a gun while she's being beat. No, she wasn't being beaten. Um, she told, so she she escalated it, but at the same time. That's she why she got right. arrested. That's but why you she know got what? arrested. Cause and that could be, that could be video, a reason why the guys the did not want to be involved with her. her. But Telling at the him, same time, go get her the, purse. So at her the same time, know what some, she meant by that. Some gun, yeah. some gun laws say, like especially out west, it's open carry in Kansas. I know that. I don't know it, about it. Will Chicago, be, it will be that right here January, the, January, but, January first. July, yeah, yeah. Not July, yeah. 1st. July first. Listen, you July first is open season in Florida. Yep. Open yep. carry. Well, it is open season, but I'm speaking, I'm saying she, if she didn't have it on her person, but she had it in the car, the purpose of carrying the gun is to defute the situations that arise like this, where you feel threatened or your life is in danger. Mm -hmm. He clearly just threatened her. She don't feel threatened. He threatened her. Yeah. And yeah, he but also the, paid attention to her environment. But juicy. But that juicy. her environment wasn't safe. <laughs> Yeah. At all. You see what I'm what I'm thinking Listen. though is is this is that her, if she if she ahead, had though. the energy enough to tell her son to go out to the car to go get a gun, she could have just walked her ass out of the restaurant and with her son and got in the car and went to a no. different place and and but, diffused but the see, issue that's, like that. But but Chuck, but Chuck, you know what? At the same time, that's where we have a bigger problem at too. We should not just well, why easily, should she go and tell her we, son to know, go and get a gun out of the okay, car or I'm whatever tell because you why I would tell my children to go get it if I ain't got it on me. I'll tell you why. Not her. I'm gonna tell you why I because if I'm standing there and I'm ordering my food, I like she said, if I waited in line to order my food, 
I have my right to order my food. You, you need to wait. I don't have. I have a choice. Yeah, but yes, that I can that to me, turn around and Juicy, walk out. That's, it sounds like ego to me or whatever. Because it, it if she if like she could have just she could have just diffused it and say, you know what, this is not this is not the t the place or the time. She take her son out of there because she doesn't want to teach her son that kind of that kind of. But let me tell you, no, if no, you look at the video, if you look at the video, this lady didn't even elevate her voice to this person. You gotta you know understand. Me? This we, guy we just seemed a, like he, he was a, a ticking war. time bomb. Listen, 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 I, I don't know because I didn't see the video, so I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to teach your child. But listen, I understand what Chuck is saying. Sometimes just because we as black, especially we as black folks with our egos. We feel that just because we have the right, you know, we're going to take advantage. It's, it's almost like driving. If I'm driving and I got the right of way, but I can stop, which will give the other person the right of way to avoid my, my car getting damaged, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to just keep going and let him hit my car because I had the right of way. Now I can cuss this motherfucker out and shoot him and go the fuck off because I had the right of way. When I could have just stopped giving them the right of way, and now my car wouldn't have been damaged. You diffused the issue. He's so saying, I got the right of way. I'm going to just keep going because I have the right of way and he's supposed to stop. But he, he don't necessarily stop. He damages your car. Now, you know what I'm saying? Now, now you paralyzed or whatever. Or, 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 you, or maybe not paralyzed, but now you want to get out of the street because you had the right of way. So, so, so what Chuck is basically saying is simply because she had the right of way, which she did, doesn't necessarily mean take the right of way. Sometimes to defuse the situation and get out of the situation, you know, one to, to not have to commit murder, to, to teach a son this, you know, this or that, or to be involved in an escalated situation, or even possibly going to jail, or even possibly getting retaliation on yourself. Just leave. I need some help. You know, people need to learn that, how sometimes we can de escalate the situation because we walk amongst people that have untreated mental health illness. Yes, you have to I really agree. recognize that. And if I was in her situation, I'm not 100% exactly sure what I would do in the heat of the moment. But honestly, I know with my child and everything, I would have just been like, you know what, I would have just walked out and go somewhere else on my food or come back after he left maybe come back to get my food or get my change or or get a refund or something like that because i can see that's probably not going to end well you know and i do work in mental health right. and i do work with sometimes sometimes patients can be hostile so i have to be careful to not escalate the situation because sometimes even though me as a nurse practitioner i do i do work with mental health people as well and then sometimes I work with a lot of schizophrenics, bipolar people, and they'll pop off on me. They're borderline personality. They'll pop off. And I'll be wanting to pop off back. But number one, I have to remember I'm a healthcare professional. And number two, they crazy. So go ahead. They're going to show you crazy. You see what I'm saying? So sometimes you have to just, like, like so, drop the ego and just, just like think about time. safety and not being right but, or wrong. But, Chris, let me show you something. Like, you, um, you, you and Chuck both right. You want to take your back I, on this I want to finish what I was saying because I, I hear everything what y'all saying. And it's not necessarily about ego. It's about principle. And in today's society, we really need to be standing our ground as a person and protecting ourselves by any means necessary. And I ain't even speaking on no Malcolm X or no anything. I'm speaking on your choice, your right, and your pursuit of happiness. You can be right here. and dead. You can be you right, can right, be right and, dead. and dead. But you know yeah. what? At the same moment when she could have chose to have walked away, before any of these choices that she made, even saying, go get my purse, the manager of the store the cashier, somebody, anybody could have said something. She could have said something to them. There are a lot of shoulda or could have done. Yes. But the part that was done here was a great lesson to her son. Her one, she shouldn't have left her purse in a car. Right. She have already had it. So if anything <laughs> happened, she would already right. been ready. Keep it, it would have been necessary for him to get it. Now, me, I ain't even dressed down from the day. So my 380 is still sitting in my chest. So, and, and then to to have him him go get it, yes. he already knows what it is and how to use it. Our children need to be knowing how to protect themselves and not ignorantly out here shooting and killing people randomly. I'm speaking of protection because in the Midwest and in Chicago, and and we our tire got stabbed at the gas station while I was pumping gas on the right side of my car, the left side of the car. Someone walked and stabbed the tire so they could follow us to rob us. 
these people wild out here, and you do need to know how to. So now, that so now you approve. So with you, with those statements that you just said, you just proved Miss Crystal's point about mental oh, stability. Oh no, I, I definitely. I'm. I'm no, I'm we agree. A, we I'm agree. So, with that. so we agree this, on but hold on. But hold on, cake y'all. But with that being said, at a point, mental mental instability, meaning that even men and women. Like I'm like today, I'm in line, right? I'm in line at the 7-Eleven getting ready to get me something. I'm standing in line. It's a line. All of a sudden, two white dudes just walk past me and get in front of me. And it upset me because I was finna say, motherfucker, you don't see me. But I know I know where I'm at. You understand what I'm saying? I know my I know that this I, where I where I live is predominantly white. And if I was to get into an incident about somebody breaking in front of the line and disrespecting me on the principle, and I pop off and something happened, guess what? I'm going to be the person, one, because I'm black, two, because I could have just I could have just waited a minute and said, you know what, which I did, and said, you know what? Fuck it, it ain't even worth it. They, ain't nobody touched me. So when, uh, when hold on, when Chuck them say that at that time the individual could have easily said, you know what, I don't even want to argue. You can have the window. Let this person get out the fucking way. Go, Melo. It was a, to me. Oh, hello. I didn't mean to I was just thinking about something. Go ahead. Going, going crazy out there. I need you to come back, bro. Come back. I'm gonna yeah. make it back, but come Chuck, back. what I'm saying is. We have to make decisions. Those people that ran out of that It was an extra step, Legacy, is what I'm trying to say, is that, that it took a whole extra step for them to walk outside of the restaurant, go yes. to the car, go get a gun to come back in there when they could have just said, okay, well, you know what? I mean, I'm just repeating pretty much what you already said, but you understand where I'm getting at. It's like if, if she, if, if like Tiana was saying, okay, well, she should have had the gun on her. If, if okay. it was a situation... If where she had a gun on her, or whatever, that's and it's like that's different. But you got to yep. go take an extra step, go out of go out of the restaurant, go ha have your fourteen year old kid that's not licensed to carry. That's right. not like it's like it's like telling them to go get you some alcohol and shit, and they're fourteen years old. You know what I mean? It it, it doesn't make any sense. So why would you? Why would you? You know? You why would like you? What, is, like what you say? Chuck, what from you saying is, if you had the time. To send your fourteen-year-old child to go get the gun and come back in with it, you had the time to say you got it, you can order it, and walk out where your gun is. And if Damn that right. person followed you out there, then they did not saying that he didn't deserve to die then because he did. But at that time, if he follow you, follow behind you, then he's looking for you to do something to him. But we also have to take in consideration that the people that walked out of there, even though Tayama, y'all may think they were cowards. Let me they tell. have they they had to make it as they had to make a, a business decision on one they probably already knew that this motherfucker was crazy they probably already picked up on the fact that he already crazy and they themselves wanted to make it home to their family you know i i hear and i agree and i want to say first i was at, a, at the metro someone ran up to me and yelled in my face and I, and I had to make a <laughs> conscious choice. This motherfucker's crazy. I'm not about to yep. yell back at him. I just looked at him and I said, you know, I pray for you. I said a prayer for him. So I do understand you got a choice that you can make. Her first choice was when she did not look at him, but she kept looking straight forward. And she said, I have a right to order my food. I waited. At that point, she needs to prepare for the next moment. And her mm -hmm. preparation was, oh, shit, I ain't got my purse. Baby, go get my purse. That's not back down. But, That's you know, preparation is everything, though. But, preparation but, but preparation is, is everything. The, but this is the law. And her preparation, I agree. She shouldn't have had the purse in the car. It should have been ordered. She should have been, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Now, at yep. the same time, she wasn't. But she was able to redeem herself. He went and got it. And that man still bothered her. 
No, he was whooping her then. But listen, mm -hmm. in my mind, in my mind, well, that's what I asked. I said, did, was he beating her when she said, "Go get my purse"? No, no. Said, no. no. They, just, they wasn't. He just kept walking in her personal space, talking trash. Okay, so she said, "Go get my purse." Yes. Yeah. She had already ordered her food, and he's still walking in her space, talking trash. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so being she was supposed that he to not get her food that she didn't already order. Yeah. She hadn't she paid not. for nothing. She was still trying to order. Right. And, she and, hadn't and, paid, and, so and, she could have left. And so, so let me tell so you, I think she, I would have bowed down because me. Listen, first of all, whatever, like as a mother, I think when you become a mother, you become a a, a super extraterrestrial. Like for real, for real. <laughs> when, listen, when you become a mom, yeah, anything like. Being a being a parent is supposed to be the most selfless job that you could ever come up with, right? So listen, I got a 25-year-old and I got a two-year-old, and they're both black men. Okay. Go. They're, well, a pre-little black man in training, but y'all get what Not I mean. Really, but I mean but <laughs> legacy, keep it up. I make him kick your butt. You know, don't play with me. And he had beat up legacy before my two-year-old. But uh <laughs> but no. Be, if I knew that's where that was heading, I would have probably surrendered. If because I would go into play. If I kill this dude, my baby got to see this man brain splattered on the ground. Then he's gonna mm -hmm. see me get arrested. Th like I would literally play it. But for you to actually know that this gun is in your child's hand, like I. Me as a parent, I couldn't do it because first thing I think, my jet going to prison forever. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, I, I, it's too I, much, and the whole shit is just sad all the way around the board. Bad it, it is beyond bad because y'all like. A but lot I am glad. Crazy, and like that's what she's not that, that young man sleep. just y'all do not know how bad this baby just fucked up his life. He, when you take a life, know, be here. When you take a life, right, wrong, or in between, and anybody, my name is on there, you could go Google me. 19, I had to take a life to save my life. I sat in jail for six months, got off. You don't know what that did to me, and I know I had to say, he was on crack. So his crack to me now, uh, baby, it was either him or you. I was still fucked up. What y'all think that's gonna do to a fourteen year old? At the end of the day, you his life saw that. Forever. You just snatched something from that kid that you can't give back. That baby gonna and be in the days, and it's gonna send him in a mental spiral. It's still a life. At fourteen, you still have a consciousness in you that says, "I was, I took somebody's life." God ain't gone. So for that to be the burden that that kid had to hold when, like I say, it was other people in there that you could have easily, instead of recording that, bro, listen, <laughs> man, she got her kids in the car and da da da. It wasn't just that one kid that was in the car. Mm -hmm. That's what y'all fail to realize. So when they arrested both of their asses there, they were sitting there with defects. But the scar that is going to be left on that kid is bigger than anything. Me, I'm a person, anybody that know me, if, to know me is to know if you need it, you can have it. I don't care what it is. You, you tell me, I'm on it. I have no faith in humanity whatsoever no more. Well, let's, let's start I feel like from so many people, for real, for real, because Loyal, like this loyalty to me is like, honey, like slit in my own wrist, and that's something I would never do. But the pain still is real deep. Let's let's start a healing cycle for him because, like I said, one way to heal a broken heart, and that is a broken heart, pretty much going through that, um, is through the accountability and the perception of. Yes, he did something that was very tragic and, and heart and life changing. But he also was very heroic because he had the courage 
to do what he needed to do to protect his mother, his queen, his family, the head and the crown and the one he believed in. He he was he was David taking down Goliath. And so I just pray over him that whatever he's suffering from and continue will, it'll it'll dissipate as it needs. And he'll gain strength and pride and courage to keep pushing through and being better. And make and, and all these other people will know don't fuck with that man. He ain't the one to fuck with. He know what he's supposed to do. Yes. Because that's the problem today, I think, with our black men. Y'all been tried so much as a black man that y'all are so afraid to do what you need to do because of the consequences. You not willing to die for what is. But that kid right there was against all odds. That was the truth. That was what he needed to be doing. And I, and I commend her for, for, she shouldn't have had her purse in the car. She was wrong. But she still know I'm standing my ground. I have I have had this situation with my child in my car, and the police was right there. And I let them know you you not pulling you not breaking my window. You not pulling my son out the car and and yanking me out the car. These are threats the police made to us. Not happening. And I ain't giving you what you want or need either, cause it ain't. I got my rights. You have she knew her rights. So she did her right thing, and we gotta teach our children where to stand and how to stand today, because it's gonna get worse. Whether they crazy or not, they gonna even plead crazy and be the most sane person just out here using crazy as a way to get away. We gotta stand it. We gotta take it up. Okay. Malcolm X Junior. <laughs> we're, um, we're gonna we're gonna call it quick because we actually gone over thirty minutes. We, thirty minutes longer yes. than we had anticipated. Um, you know, so we're going to just close out and let each individual, let the viewers know how they can contact them if they need to contact them for whatever reason. Um, and then we'll close out. Um, Crystal, like I said, if we had time, I was going to try to sneak in a reading or two, but we don't Lord, have the time. Oh my God, no, I'm so tired. Okay. So, yeah. So, <laughs> so, so just go ahead and let them know how they could get in touch with you. Yeah, you guys can catch me on my YouTube channel, Tova Tarot, T O V A Tarot. All right. Also, I do personal readings. You can email me at C E S T E 12884 at gmail.com. All right. For a personal reading. Thank you for letting me be on the show again. Thank you for coming in notice yes i had to get jazzy real quick <laughs> and you did just that and you did miss <laughs> miss tay you want to let anybody know how to contact you if they need to contact you or or or, or you're good i'm good you're good because <laughs> mm -hmm. okay tay not running no business so y'all ain't got no business calling her i know no, how to no, contact no. her anyway <laughs> That's right. That's Team J. Mm. All the way. Heard it. Heard it. But thank you also, Tay, for joining us for the first time on the show live. And, um, and, and of course, at short, short notice, you know, I appreciate you as well. Appreciate you mm -hmm. asking me, having me. Thank you. Even the next time you make oxtails, I wish you would not make sure okay. I get late. <laughs> All right. I got you. <laughs> Legacy had to sign off because he had to go to bed or whatever. But this is Legacy's information, Legacy the Great. Um, on Facebook, on the, our Dream Williams, YouTube, Legacy the Great. His email is legacyunlocked at mail.com. Um, his cell phone number and for auto auto lockouts, motions, fi motion filings, court hearings, or anything that you need him to do from a paralegal perspective. For advertising here on the show, you reach out to him at 229-630-7615 or 561-907-9129. That's Legacy's information. And you can find me here every Tuesday and Friday on the ATL show. You can check me out on Facebook, Nicole Purse, Instagram, Miss Beautiful, or TikTok, Miss Juicy Cakes. Hit me up on our website, enlivenedtoyou.com. And um, 
practice if you want a consultation or any homeopathic health remedies. Okay. You can find me on the ATL show. That's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come for me, y'all. Do not come for me. Shut this on. My brother. Triple threat. Amen to that. Um, <clears throat> well, I mean, if basically I, I have a, a, a business number, different things like that. But if you want to get at me, then you can actually reach out to Tony. Uh, I do insurance and financial planning as well as uh, wholesale real estate. So I buy, you know, I'm a real estate investor. So I, I buy, you know, real estate at a discount. So if you're looking for a way to be able to get some real estate or you need to do some financial planning for your family, you know, you want to do some di different things as far as insurance and life insurance is concerned, then you, then you hit me up and you can get, get at me through Tony. Okay. Yeah. Smart man, because boy, you'll have some cycles calling. <laughs> Good answer. And I, of course, I'm Anthony Brown. I can be found on all social media. That's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube under Anthony Brown or The Anthony Brown Show. Um, you can reach me at my um, Facebook. I have a Facebook page called Anthony the Writer. I'm on TikTok as well as Facebook Reels. The words that I live by, and you should too, and you got to grind until you shine. And for business purposes only, please reach out to me at 561-768-3710. Again, I just want to thank everybody for coming on tonight. Um, like I said, we, we're 35 minutes over time, but nevertheless, we, we, we made it. So in the words of Color Purple, I might be black, I might be ugly, but I'm here. <laughs> God, I'm here. Yeah. Again, thank you all for coming and good night. Love you all. Good thank night. You. Right. Love you too, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I'm the champion, yeah, I'm the I don't know why you can't run away the beast But it's me, just to give you cats a chance to eat But you got four early games and it's the play Now that I'm back, you rap cats are gonna have to wait Been gone a whole year since nobody got The leadership or the heart to even feel my spot I'm the champion, must I say it again The best in this rap game and I can see the win Feel I'm allergic to death, losing makes me sneeze Like your funny rap cat, I'm about to make it squeeze Bring your whole crew, nigga I'ma swallow that, so when it pops off, A&T is on a holler back. It's 28 grams, nigga. I've been running this shit. So anything in front of me, you can fuck around and get hit. I follow you route cast, so you niggas my son, and I'm the truth. Wow. I'm the motherfucking champion. I'm the 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 Still up the A&T, but I carry my throne. God bless this child that they're holding on. And I am that child, as you niggas can see. Cause like another rapper, I'll be better than me. And this goes to anybody trying to steal my spot. I'm number one in the team, so number one you got. So when you cast stream, y'all is the best. I laugh, like really? You cast don't really know the how. You do the math. And that's yourself who really great. Then add it up and watch it equal up to 28. The rest of them can't know who really is done. I'm overall, I think you niggas fight. For them, but one, yeah, put that on my life, put that on my son. Gotta stay the best of people, they can trade love. Then my throne, and I'm the key. You can put that on my heart, and I'm the God. Cause I'm the motherfucker.